Yes, we are. We are live. We are live. Hello, Hello everyone. everyone, and welcome to tonight's very, very special episode <laughs> of Dead Air. Uh, special because yes, of our guest, but also because of this auspicious. Would that be the right word? Uh, inauspicious. Inauspicious. Extra inauspicious. Extra period. inauspicious, but very fitting for us. Yeah, on uh, date. <laughs> Yes, I am. Be- before we get on into all this nonsense, uh, I am Wayne. I am the writer of Ghost Maps. Uh, this lovely gentleman next to me is Kyle, and the co-creator of Ghost Maps. Mm. Yep. And um, on my right, we have our guest tonight. We're joined by the author of the sci-fi romp, The Messiah Virus, as well as the Epigram Book Prize winner for yeah. the upcoming novel, The Formidable Miss Cassidy. Ladies and gentlemen. Please give us all your clapping emojis for Meha Boy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> a bit too loud. A bit too loud. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yelling into the mic. Well done, Win. And um, she is our first female guest. Okay, Easy. more to come. Yes, yes. Big honor, man. To be, fair, to be fair, fourth episode last week. Fourth episode, yeah. As well. Still, we had, we had to get all the the testosterone out of the way first before we can have normal. Everybody episodes. in for a treat today. <laughs> Hashtag progress. Mm. Yes, mm. Um, Mehan. We'll talk about uh, the formidable Miss, formidable Miss Cassidy in a bit. But first, again, you're joining us on the Friday the thirteenth mm-hmm. during the Hungry Ghost Month. Yeah, yeah. Just just let me check. Like, which day is it? The, of it's, the ghost month It's not the 15th No it's not budget. the 15th Or oh, 15 extra rabak uh, yeah. so it's, it's, the, it's not the 15th We're, we're still okay we're It's, still it's okay. the 6th yeah. It's the 6th day Of the hungry ghost month Which still feels kind of Yeah yeah. Uh, but I mean TLDR we, we actually uh, Did some prayers uh, Before we that So we yeah. we good you, You're good You're good okay. you're good. You're good. good. You're good. Right. <laughs> we'll see ya uh. we, we say that But you're also in a place That it's very very creepy So how are you feeling This evening Um. Well Honestly speaking, it seems okay lah, huh? I mean, I came out of my house and there was like joysticks and like burned hell notes all over the place, which is not great. <laughs> but then kill I came to this la. building, which is not great. <laughs> 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 but we're good. We This building has character. It has character, oh, yes. Character. Yeah. It has, it has. Yes. That's a very nice way to put it. For it's one Singap- way to put it, yes. We just came from the toilet. It's uh, Yeah. For the, for the Singaporean li- listeners, uh... Uh, eventually you will figure out where where we are. Uh, but it's a very uh, let's just say a very crowded place during seven months. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so as usual, John says hi. Uh, John is uh, our next door neighbor. So Hello, he's watching. John. <laughs> you, you might actually know John since you know we hang around familiar enough circles. Um, he was with Mr. Wesley Leon Aruzu. Oh, yeah, um, he was the cinematographer for his oh, feature film. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool, John. I'm a fan. Uh, cool, <laughs> I'm a fan. I'm sorry, the camera there, the computer yeah, yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My, yeah, my yeah. tech skills not great. Just, just keep like going this way. Hi, lost in Malaysia. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Wesley says hi to all three of us. Hi, Aww, Wesley. Hi, Wesley. <laughs> Yo. Um. Oh, so lovely. Hi, uh, Dennis. Yeah, as usual. And WSA. Hey, finally, first female guest. Yeah, yeah. More to come. More to come. More to come. Progress, ah. Uh. Yes. Sorry, a bit hard to find like. Female guests, la, to be honest. Like, that got kind of like, mm, like you. Really <laughs> not. <laughs> I think maybe all the guys were scared to come G- on like, guys Friday then, the 13th and 7th you know month. I'm, I say let's go with that one. Okay, yeah. Let's go with that. Yeah, all the guys, was all the, the male sitting, guests that we had planned were like, Friday the one, the one. Ah, sitting at home, scared of the momoks. And so <laughs> there you go. We, because we've done a, we've done panels before, so we had to we had to get this out of the way last time. But since yeah. uh, since they don't know yet, Momo spell. How would you spell it? It's now confirmed as M O M O K. Okay, because for a while there we weren't sure. <laughs> like how we're gonna do that. I don't double confirm. <laughs> for a while we weren't sure whether it was Momo or Momo. Yeah, there was a lot of debate on that. It's yeah, it like the first Mo is almost silent. Momo, right, right. The yeah. first Mo. Right. Momo. <laughs> Okay, um, we'll get on to st- we'll get on to some more questions in a bit. But yeah, yeah. Um, today is Friday, the, the second Friday of the month. Yes, yes. You know yes. what that means? That means that yesterday we had a new episode of Ghost Maps, and mm. also because it's Hungry Ghost Month, mm. we had one on Sunday as well, the first day of Hungry Ghost Month. So you guys are in for a treat, lah. Who you are? If you haven't tuned in, watch this first. 
<laughs> and then go tune in. Uh, o- almost, man, almost every Thursday, right? What do you mean almost? The f- I mean for oh for hungry ghost yeah, yeah, dude <laughs> no man I was like Whoa, we have to write that stuff you know <laughs> it's very tiring for hungry ghost month yes, yes for hungry ghost month every Thursday um we'll be having a new episode so you know if you're not subscribed yet I will do the whole call to action at the end of this episode very tiring um Nehan, did you manage to catch the recent episodes um I well I listened to quite a few of them the one the most recent one that I thought was quite creepy was the one about the pochong yeah yeah and i don't exactly remember the entire story anymore but i do remember the part where the guy is trying to sleep and he feels his friend sleeping next to him and he turns but it's his friend but it isn't because his face is all Ooh. distorted yeah, yeah, yeah and that is damn freaky <laughs> you know because i think like if you just see a ghost standing there it's like ooh, ghost oh run right but if you see your friend you're like hey wayne and then wayne turns into like well <laughs> like I mean, you know. Yeah. <laughs> if, if I've had really bad food, sometimes I won't even... I'll really be going... Eh, so it's fine. <laughs> well, yeah, but it's just more like the kind of, you know, it's something that's familiar that gets distorted. Mm. And that's kind of terrifying, right? Like, yeah. you know, if you if you think, oh, that's, you know, my little cousin or something. Hello. And then... <laughs> I actually, like... Okay, I, I, I'm recycling a little bit of the questions that we asked during uh-huh. uh, your panel at Queen, But like, I mean, just let's let's steer into that direction a little bit where, you know, we were talking about like, you know, why are so many of these these uh, supernatural creatures female? Oh. And we've had like, like ever mm. since then, yeah. weirdly enough, after that, I've been hearing the question a lot. Like mm-hmm. a lot of our guests were asking like, why is it that the case? Well. I mean, what's your take on it? Well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> How long do you have? Question. Yeah. <laughs> so basically, I think... Um, Largely, a lot of these, like, momoks are female because women traditionally don't have a lot of power in, like, especially in the old times, right? We're talking Mm. about these are legends from, like, 1400s and 400 and so on and so forth. So these are times where basically a woman is a piece of property, Mm. right? You you, you belong to your father, then you get married, you belong to your husband. They can do whatever the hell they want. They can sell you, like, cattle and all that. So the only way for women to have some control is through basically fear. Like, if you, mm. you know, treat me badly and you kill me, I will come back as a ghost to haunt you. Mm. If you, you know, um, go out and you, you run around on me, you know, you cheat on me, you're going to be cheating with a Pontianak, she's going to eat you, <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. <laughs> so it was the only way to, to basically, firstly, keep your husband's loyalty because he's the reason you're alive most of the time. Like, you, you don't have a way to, to, to kind of take care of yourself because you can't work. Um, you know, your property doesn't belong to you and all that. So your husband needs to not only be alive, but basically remain with you. So you're like, okay, if you go out, you might, you know, meet a hantu tetek. She's so beautiful. Her boobs are so big. But she will then <laughs> smother you and you die, <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah. So largely, I think that is probably why a lot of the ghosts are female. It's partly a, a, a sense of, it's like almost like a revenge fantasy. Mm. You know, like you know, my life is kind of shit right now, but... You know, if, if you do something nasty to me, you're going to get it back in like a hundredfold because I'm going to come back at you as a head with intestines <laughs> and that kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. I, I love, by the way, how in that one answer, you managed to cover at least three different kinds of momo. There you go. Well <laughs> done. KPI met. You got to have Hantu Tete. It's the most fabulous ghost, right? <laughs> Uh, natural, like, uh, they're all natural. Uh, no, yeah. no plastic surgery. There are people who are, would be very happy to become a <laughs> Yeah. Apparently. <laughs> so like, I'm, just, just I, uh, I mean, jumping on that comment, right? I lost in Malaysia shit. The boob to dick ratio is finally balanced. Not <laughs> so much yet, but next month, we also have a female guest. Ooh, ah, who's it, who's it, who's it? Cannot say. This uh, one is a special. Sh- yeah, I guess you'll find out. Okay. We will tell you later. We'll okay, tell you later. Nice. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Ask, ask again. Who's it? Who's it? Who's it? Who's it? Who's it? Well, you'll have to tune in next month to find out. <laughs> <laughs> Can't miss that opening. I know lah. Mm. My my talk my talk show voice coming out. Yeah, now. there you go. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. I just want to ask you like, so what was your, what was your first supernatural experience or the first ghost story you ever heard? Mm-hmm. Mm. So. I'm from like a Chinese family, right? Uh, my mom is pretty superstitious and she swears that when I was very young, I stepped on like the joystick paper and all that from seven months and she said I got a fever from that that wouldn't go down. So she got like 
nuns and tankies <gasps> and like I don't know. I don't even remember all the paraphernalia, but they were like walking around me with the smoke and you know putting me in flower water, and there was like, oh, me on home. For ages, my dad was like, uh, okay, like, whatever makes you happy, you know. And of course, the fever goes off, and she like still swears to this day that we exercise the uh, spirit out of my body. I'm pretty sure it was just like I had a cold. You know? <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> But yeah, that that so I suppose that counts as my first supernatural experience. But generally speaking, I've worked in places where people always claim there's a ghost. I mean, I'm from a girls' school. Girls' schools, there's always a ghost, right? There's yes. always like you know, in my school, we we did um home econo- home economics, and there was these rubber babies that you would pretend to oh, do, no. you know. Oh no! Oh no! And you know, <laughs> at night people would be like, oh, I could hear it screaming and crying. <laughs> Toilets, yeah, blah blah, that kind of thing. I mean, toilet goes. You know, in Japan, there's actually a specific yes. like toilet goes. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I read about. Oh, that is ghost. like super creepy. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't see. That's a girl <laughs> as well. But yeah, yeah, I've worked for at least two places which claim that there was a ghost. So the first one was Louis Vuitton MBS, which is on the water. It's like a little crystal pavilion. Wait, 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 wait. Yes. Is and it the one that's right, right beside? Apple, you know, the yeah, stuff, yeah, yes, really. Oh, no. yeah. <laughs> so, in the old, the very first time when they were open, it's um, it opened quite late, right? In the, in the originally, it opened from 9 a.m. to midnight, literally mm. to midnight. So, by the time your stock room is closing up, it's like 1 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> so, they would like swear that the last people in there are always the stock keepers, right? They're turning off all the lights, they're walking through this gigantic store. In, pitch blackness <laughs> and they always swear things like they can hear things and there's like cold drafts and then when you come in the next day they're like didn't we put this back here why is it there <laughs> <laughs> where did that wallet go how did it migrate this high Wait, how big was the stock room it's um it's pretty big i would say it's definitely bigger mm. than this room <laughs> oh yeah oh yeah I, I hope so la. yeah yeah <laughs> yeah the lens wider that's it, why. yeah <laughs> <laughs> they called it they gave her a name they call her rachel why Rachel? Why, why? I don't know. I, I don't know why she's <laughs> Rachel. But then, you know, it, towards the end of my career in LV, I actually got sent to the stock room. So I became oh, the stock no. room supervisor. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm like, please be nothing, please be nothing. Open the door, open the door. And then uh, my, my colleague, you know, we have to check security cameras now and then right, when things go missing. And one day, he, his name was Eugene. He's like, oh, he was checking for something that was missing. And he's like, Mihan, Mihan. Come and see this. I can see something on the camera. Like, don't no, I don't want to see I don't want to see it. Like, but you have to see it. You have to do the incident report with me. Come and see. It. Come wow. And see it. So did you watch it? Yeah, it's just somebody stealing something. Busted. <laughs> also he was trolling. He la. was yes. Exactly. Okay, He's right. like, Do you see that? Do you see that? Like, what am I seeing? Okay, she took the wallet la. You, Eugene, if you ever watch this well then. Well then, not bad, not bad. Well done, Eugene. That's a, yes, that's a pretty good. Cool. The place that I'm working at now is actually an old girls' school. It's Nan Chiao right. Girls' School. Mm. It's a crane, but it's now it used to be Nan Chiao Girls' School from 1940s. Not vulgar, uh, not vulgar. Mm. Just normal Nan Chiao Girls' School. Nan Chiao school. Girls' School, yep. Uh, and it was. It also became like a war hospital somewhere in the middle yeah. there. So this ghost doesn't have a name, but I work with a lot of esoteric healers, right? Like meditation coaches and like people who do a little bit of witchcraft and fortune telling and all that. And this is a particular room that we have where they do this because it's got no windows, so it's mm. fully soundproof. And they always swear that they can feel somebody watching. Like different people, not the same person, but different people who kind of are, you know, in that field, like they're a little bit psychic or, or so on and mm. so forth. They always say, I feel like somebody's in that corner there watching, like a child is watching me. And you're like, oh, okay, sure. And then the next person comes in like, was there something in this room before? <laughs> because I feel like that corner... There is a child watching me, <laughs> and then you know now all my staff will not go into that room yeah. if they <laughs> if they have to close up after midnight, which sometimes happens. They're like, I'm not going to the room. You go in. No, I'm not going. The aircon's off. No, I just leave it. <laughs> <laughs> and the next day, my boss is like, Why is the aircon still on? You think I made the money? <laughs> you go turn off, lah. You, you go. Wait, wait, wait. like. You, you can't really say, right, like that place. No, you can't. Yeah, we can't say that place, but I, I mean, we all been there. We know where... Mm-hmm. Wait, which place? Where, where, uh, wait. <laughs> Sorry. No, no, you don't, 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 bait me, don't bait me in this time. <laughs> but I, I can tell you this, like, I mean, I, 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 
do have some sense. I, I went there and I feel that like, uh, this place is so old. Definitely got something there. Mm-hmm. But I, I don't know what in particular. But the question is that why don't you guys monetize it? <laughs> oh, we tried. Really? Yes. What? For Halloween last year. Hi, Shaiful. Shaiful is my arts associate. <laughs> yep. And for Halloween, he came up with this concept called Cranium. Okay, so last okay. year, last year it was a bit subdued lah because of you know all this. Yeah. But this year he's gonna do hide and seek mm. in the ghostly rooms. Oh, that's mm. yes. Oh. So that's what he's gonna do. Last year he did storytelling, which means that he puts you in a very dark room. Somebody tells you a creepy story, and then somebody blows in your ear. <laughs> oh. Or you know, a strange <laughs> sound goes ding. <laughs> it's the worst dating experience ever. Yeah, well, people seem to like it. <laughs> but yeah, so this I year, if you want, you can go and do hide and seek yeah. in this really old, brutalist girl school. Wait, give you, I give you fifty bucks. Let's let's do a, a live stream there. Oh, nice! We actually and have I- a shoddy podcast studio. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. We, we do it in that room. We bring all of this <laughs> and put it in there and then we do it at night, 9 p.m. Yeah, okay. 50 bucks, all right, man. Apparently, this is what you needed to bring out my bravery because, like, 50 bucks. Have you, yeah, okay, yeah. have you seen the, the uh, visuals that he does for the YouTube channel? Yeah. Yeah. He. Like, what he the will hell, go. Man? Yeah, <laughs> he will go and do the visuals, right? And he's invited me, like, the first couple of times. And I went, no. Uh-uh. No. You go have fun, take care. You know, um, have a good time. He, he, he's very smart, la. He's very smart for that. No, I'm 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 a, I'm a coward. The word <laughs> you're looking for is coward. Thank no, you, la, thank smart, you, smart, 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 smart. Yeah. Apparently, fifty bucks is all I needed. <laughs> fifty <laughs> bucks is a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Some creepy, like the Kota Crescent is damn creepy. You know, when you, oh, yeah. <laughs> you look at it. Actually, I love the Kota Crescent. I love the Kota Crescent, yeah. but even during the day, it's creepy. It, yeah, exactly. I mean, to you guys, I don't know. Like, I feel like if you have an emotional attachment to a place, mm. creepy or not, right, it goes away even at night. So so I, I've been documenting the Kota Crescent. The, okay, by the way, for our non Singaporean friends, the Kota Crescent is um pre I think pre Singapore independence mm. uh uh housing development uh like uh apartments that are built. Mm. So it's like fifty or sixty years old, super old. So it's really nice, it's almost in the center of Singapore. Uh, there's a lot of um, old people that used to stay there. Then the government decided to redevelop. So I've been documenting it for a couple of years and I did a documentary on it. So I have a personal connection to that place. But I do know that the Tia and a lot of the places, right? At that point, right, when I was documenting, like almost half are gone already. Mm. Nobody's staying. So empty. So I can actually look into the unit. Sometimes I feel midnight some more. So you you know like you can feel and there was one night and this was an unfortunate. I, I love incident. your spiel like yeah. <laughs> there was one night uh where I was filming and this was like 2015, 2016. Uh I could smell something weird. I could smell it. Like something weird. But I couldn't put my I, I just thought, oh it's just an old place, la, like old place smell, right? And this was like it was still partially, you know, um with people. Mm-hmm. Then after that I then I was just walking around. Like some of them are abandoned already. I saw filming, mm. right? Then I walked back to the main point, right? Where the, you know, the playground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then there were cops. And I was like, okay, I know what this is really. So apparently someone died and oh. nobody knew. And the smell, it was on it, the highest floor. Oh my so God. the smell permeated down. And then the uncle just, oh yeah, yeah, I got someone die. Yeah, yeah then. <laughs> so casual. Yeah, then I was like. So casual. Wow. Add to the creepiness. Huh? But I just feel like, <laughs> yeah. So I wasn't, Afraid and at, I think even towards like twenty nineteen, towards the end of the like before they you know started demolishing some of the blocks, I was still going there at night, mm. like alone, and there were like almost nobody, and I was fine with it. I I know like because of what we do, I know better to not do that. Mm. But I don't know why like personal attachment to that place overpowers the fear and overpowers the thought of supernatural. I don't know if that, you know, if that applies to any of you know, both of you. I'm what, what about you? The oldest building that I've actually been in was my primary school, which is, mm. uh, it, well, it no longer exists, but it's CHIJ Opera Estate. Wow. And, yeah, so it's on top of a hill. It is a super old, at the time that I went, they were celebrating 60th year Jubilee, so <laughs> it's a damn old building and it still exists now. Uh, but you always have this weird feeling about it, like there's, you know, th- th- like there's something there, but it's not a harmful something, like mm. there's just something there that's kind of hanging around the kids and 
maybe they're just you know the kids who came before us who knows just chilling but it's a it's a very creepy place at night because it's it's very old school like you know there's the cement floors and then our furniture was horrific state you know all like they look like spiders you know <laughs> every table was wobbly <laughs> All the chalkboards, which is the old chalkboards where you know you can go. <laughs> oh, wow, that yeah, sounds not, not bad. Yeah, and then the shutters, <laughs> you know, very old smoky shutters. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so yeah. it's a damn creepy looking place. But you know, I you don't feel threatened there somehow. Mm. Yeah, so it's it's yeah. I suppose it's true. If you film the horror movie there, you'll be creeped out. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it's context, right? Like, yeah. like, like the context you had there is like great memories. It was your, you know, primary school. Mm-hmm. Therefore, you're not afraid. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I think I feel the same way for like my secondary school though. Even though it's also haunted. Mm. Like, if you ask me to go there, yeah, I wouldn't be that afraid, lah. Yeah. I mean, unless you're a horrible student, lah. Then you know, <laughs> I was. You're, uh, you're probably more frightened at the place for different reasons. I'm frightened like, of uh, the discipline master, uh. <laughs> there you go. No, what about you, Win? Do you, do you have any like? I'm I'm actually trying to think of a place. I think the closest I could probably think of doesn't even exist anymore. Like my old my old oh, yeah. um house when I was like when I was like really I think I was like five when we moved out, hmm. and it was uh Slita Estate, oh, which is now the mall. Yeah. Yep. Which was a really fun thing to find out that hey, my childhood home is now a giant mall. Mm. Um. <laughs> But yeah, that place, I and I've still got like photos of it. Not my own personal photos, but like there was a book about like old buildings in Singapore that were torn down. And you look at the photos and you're like, yeah, that place is creepy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It looks it looks homely, but it's also creepy. And yeah, because I, re- I remember being there as a kid and like, I mean, I've got stories about that place as well. Like, and I've told Carl this, I'm not going to share it until like, yeah, yeah. you know, there's a right outlet. Um, Kenny Lick, if you're watching... We're still on if you want to do the the oh, yeah. ghost stories collection, okay? Do, if something. you want, can come on our show as well. Can la. come on our show. <laughs> and then we can talk about the ghost stories collection, okay? He's going to swear so you don't get your beat. Oh, yeah, no, 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 that's okay. I'll we're be very at, busy. I'll be like... At least, at least we're prepared when it comes to Kenny Lake. So it's like, oh, he's going to swear. Okay, okay, yeah, 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 fine. Yeah, that's yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, that, that place for me was... It was creepy, but it's not one of those places where it's like... Uh, mm. So, yeah. It's, that's what I know of that place. That yeah. whole neighborhood, actually. You yeah. ask me to go to the mall now, I don't know, but like, you know, the place <laughs> last time as it was, yes. So, Mehan, you were mentioning like Dakota Crescent, right? Mm. Before we had this uh, mm. <laughs> segue. <laughs> Super story. tension. I mean, we always do that. <laughs> yes. When there's horror story, we'll just dig, you know? Mm. Mm. Yeah. So, you, you were talking about Dakota Crescent? Yeah, well, I just think it's a very creepy place. Like, yeah. um, no, I can't understand. I'm, I'm going to get the name wrong. Association of... Comic Artists of Singapore. Yes. yes the, w- the word association was in there, right? Yes. Okay, good. Yep. So Correct. I didn't get the name. Yes. Well yeah, done. Was, uh, well done. Yep. Yes. Yep. Yeah, because that's quite close by as well, right? It is it's, just it's literally almost behind. across the street, yeah. basically. Uh, but I, I have this, I, I've, I've passed it back and forth many times in my life, right? Because of that. And you can see it going from like a place that's somewhat inhabited yeah. to totally not inhabited to like totally bordered up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I've seen like like, like Shaiful, I just mentioned him, the arts associate. He actually went there to film and he did exactly what you do. He did like very creepy shots of Dakota. With yep. this <laughs> creepy background, like <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. And then you know, it, it's just a place that you have a feeling not even of ghosts exactly, but just this feeling that there were a lot of people who have lived there and there's kind of a strange energy <laughs> there. Mm. Yeah. You know, that's still left in the air. Yeah. yeah, I think energy, that's the yeah. That, yeah exactly. That's mm. the be, probably the best way to describe it. Yeah, yeah energy. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. even like old secondary schools, old churches, and all that. Oh yeah. And like, it, well, around my I'm not gonna say where I live lah, but around my around one of my older neighborhoods. So it's there's, there's like schools and everything, and mm. yeah, it's like you hear the stories, and then you're like, okay, fine, never happened to me. But every time you pass by there, you're like, oh. <laughs> Always yeah. just like uh, his his area is yeah pretty pretty power. Thanks, Carl. So, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> Sorry. So, so <laughs> thanks for reminding oh them. My God. So let's move on to the comment section. Red dot diva says in every girls' school. Hi, by the way. Hi, red dot diva. In every girls' school, there's always a ghost in the toilet. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, but uh, Hanako. Uh, 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 yeah, Hanako. Right. Hanako is the Japanese ghost. Uh, oh. Later, you go to toilet. <laughs> Just say. Yeah, I don't know why I said that. Yeah, why? Why did you say that? Why did you say her name? Okay, so, uh, yeah, I think from what I researched and what I learned, like apparently, toilet is full of negative energy. That's why they like to linger there, and it's cold. Mm. 
Hmm. So, so yeah, I, so but many I, jokes. But I'm, don't yeah, say I know, anything. right? Like, it's don't a, say anything. It's a very poopy situation to be in. Oh, <laughs> Kyle. <laughs> I didn't say ass, right? I said poopy, okay? Okay, <laughs> that makes it better. <laughs> yep. Uh, Red Dot Diva, um, if you would like to come on the show, open invitations you for see, you. see, like, we are, like, inviting people left Yeah, I know. Center. I'm already. No, but yeah, we gotta like support Singapore, you know, all the Singapore content creators as well, right? Mm. Gotta support. So, WSA says that a friend of his um, or her has a bit of sixth sense and once cautioned him or her to avoid the first and uh, last stores in Toronto, especially Hungry Ghost Man. Yeah. First I think and last. Yeah, yeah, no. I like the one at the corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. And okay. the one in front. I, I don't know about the front one, but the corner one I like. Because uh. mm. quiet, right? Peace and quiet, man. Like, peace and... But of course, um, I mean, Hungry <laughs> hungry Ghost Man, you try to avoid if you can. La. Um, yeah. So, yeah. wait. Avoid the corner toilet, not going to the toilet, right? Of course not. Because that one a bit tough one. Yeah, that one, one very one. tough one. I mean, you go to your own house one. Uh. But okay. can you not just apologize? Like, you know, when you go NS, yeah. they tell you okay. to apologize to the tree. You can just apologize to the toilet store, right? No, but what if they decide to mess with you? Mm. It's like, you're so vulnerable. There's nothing you can do. That's true. You're just going to sit there and take it. Just pull out your pants and run. <laughs> Ew. Okay. So you have a you have, now now you you're giving me idea. So okay. What? It's, it's, a, it's a bit it's, it's a bit disgusting. But I'm gonna ask all of you this. Okay. Myself. So if you were trapped in a situation where you know something boom come out for you when you were doing a business, what would you do? Dude, just, run. Just just pull and run. <laughs> yeah. Like it's disgusting, run. right? You can clean up later. Okay. Okay. Wait. 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 I I think you need to specify where it is you're doing your business. Toilet. No, I know lah, obviously. You're not going to be doing it in the butchers, right? Or you might be. I don't know. I don't judge. Okay, okay. okay, okay. Toilet, if, last store. Uh, uh, the, the last store. No, no, no. no. Yeah. Okay, if you tell me last store toilet where we are, mm. I run. Mm. Okay. I run as fast as I can. Mm. Sometimes I might not even pull up my pants. Okay, if it's a mall. Correct. Like if, it's, a, if, it's, if it's, let's say, your... Like, like a Vivo City kind of mall. Ah, yeah. But uh-huh. it's one of those malls that, you know, the toilet is very deep inside. So even if you scream, right, it, it might be hard for people to hear it. Yeah, but, but a mall well has lit. people outside, right, normally. Okay, fine. Yeah. 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 So if there are people around you, you would probably scream first, try to get decent, and then go out. Yes. Right? But if it's just there, you can see it, it's just there. Yeah. Scream, yeah. Mm-hmm. I, will, I will scream my lungs out. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. I, because I'm watching Attack on Titan now, I will scream like Erin. Okay. That's, that's what I will do. So both of you will scream and then run. Uh. Yes. I will, I will scream and scramble to pull up my pants. And then go to another yeah. toilet and then... <laughs> correct. And then finish what you started. Yes, correct. Okay. 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 A bit more humpty la. I mean, if I really see it... And if it's really appear already, you know what I will do? Go on. No, I will close my eyes and I will just clean up and close my eyes while I clean up. See, more logical. You don't see it, so you don't feel it. I'm not sure that actually... Yeah. <laughs> You know what? You know what? Yeah, no, no, that's a good plan. Yeah, great, great, that's great, a good great, plan. Great, great. That's a good plan. I wish to point out that Hanako is meant to cut off your legs. So this may not work. <laughs> but this is Singapore. La. Okay la. Okay la, but if they... cannot travel. Now, now cannot la. Now cannot la. Now got quarantine period. But other than that, yeah. ghosts can travel. Yeah. yeah. If they can travel here from the, from the afterlife, I'm quite sure they can come from Japan. Mm, yeah. Pretty sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, how how timely the comment. Um, Lost in Malaysia says that uh, ghosts are grumpy when they are pooping. Nah. <laughs> to quote Jurassic Park, really? When you gotta go, oh, when you gotta go, you gotta go. <laughs> well, I I do like the Jurassic Park reference. But in the middle yeah, of us talking about ghosts. But you look at the seven month things that we burn. We don't burn toilets, leh, If you think about it, we yeah, don't. we we don't burn toilets. Oh no. But you know, the whole seven month, the burning thing is always weird because you we give real food, right? But we burn houses and cars. So yeah. why do we not just burn a picture of an apple instead of wasting an apple? <laughs> I don't get yeah. it. So I think um, there's a, that's, that's, where, that's where it gets to me because like uh, in, in Singapore and uh, I think some parts of Malaysia, Taoism and Buddhism are so, like when they, when they do Hungry Ghost Month, right? It's so intertwined, but at the same time, it's so different. So apparently, certain form of Buddhism, right, they actually burn the food. Right. So the food will caramelize and then you become like honey for them to eat. Mm. In that sense, that's, that's the only thing that they burn. Okay. But for Taoists, they burn money. Because mm-hmm. of course, money is more important. Then money can buy the food there. Because 
I don't know, they can't really consume the food here. Uh, yeah, then there was, there was a seven-month documentary uh, made by Tony Kern, uh, with uh, like most 10, 10 to 15 years ago. Uh, Tony Kern, if you want to come on our show, you know, let us know. <laughs> We're like inviting them, right? Uh, so there Shamelessness. Was, there was, an act, there was a, a scene in that documentary where he did an experiment where he put the food out during seven months and then, and like you know to, for prayers right mm. then um they like, had a control so they tasted food before and after then they said it was it was bland i call boo on that because if you put food out long enough yeah. it was it about bland. to say yeah. <laughs> right yeah yeah that's yeah. that's not the most scientific of no. right right yeah. Right. yeah yeah so so yeah like, i mean that that's that's one thing so Dennis, <laughs> Dennis Eric Olsen, he says that if every girl's school has a ghost in the toilet, how about all boys' schools? No, like you just open the door, you see a bunch of ghosts singing Halo team, the, the Halo team. What? The game? It, it, yeah, okay. it's, the, it's, the, it's a meme. La. Yes, yeah. you can tell on this episode, Kyle is the youngest. Yeah, I'm very <laughs> young. So puzzled. I know, very confused. So, um, ghosts too are scared to go there. Because yeah. I, I was going to say, like, if you go into all... And I speak from experience, uh, all boys' school, right? You go to the toilet, right? You don't eat ghosts. The smell is uh, scary mm. enough already. Uh. Yeah, kila, pretty it, kila. It uh. smells like PE all the time in there. Yeah. Boys, all the time. Boys so dirty. I know. Yeah. So And and not in the hantu kind of way, just dirty. Just dirty. Just, <laughs> I mean, a certain age, la, like between, I think, between 13 to maybe 18. Mm. One would one. hope. La. Yeah, one would hope. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who knows? Who knows how much worse they can get? You know, like now we're really frightening you, right? <laughs> it's like, ah, yeah. teenage which, boys, ah. Which, which, one is, which one is the scary one? Yeah. <laughs> I, don't know. I was just thinking, you know, for a girl, it would be very hard for her to pick whether or not to go to the toilet with a lot of shit on the ground or the toilet with the ghost. <laughs> She would be like, <laughs> like Felicia, <laughs> AJ Low Felicia. Uh-huh. She will go for the ghost. <laughs> I tell you first. Yep. Are we sure about that? I'm very sure about that. I <laughs> traveled with this girl. <laughs> she will take a ghost any day yeah. over a dirty, like really dirty toilet. Yeah, you know, no, even guys like I do have a friend shout out to Gary. We traveled for an NGO project like way back like ten years ago, and then we locked him in the hotel room. Then we removed the keys, then everything went dark. He was while wow, he's taking a dump. And he was screaming, he said, Bro, let me out, bro, let me out, let the go go out. But then he mean? still finished his business. And then he come out and he scores. us. So yeah, there are pretty clean people out there. I am not traveling with you. Clean priorities. I am not traveling with you. <laughs> and if I am, I'm getting my own hotel room. <laughs> can lah, we can share. I, 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 no, I, I, no! I, I, I promise I won't pull that prank on you. Uh-huh. I, I I know better. I, I've stayed enough. In what? enough hotels to know better what, to play what with. Kind of per- what kind of person pulling a prank is going, no, 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 I promise I won't do it to you. And then they don't actually. That was 10 years ago. I was much, much younger. <laughs> <laughs> sure, Kyle. Sure. <coughs> so, Red Dot Diva says, benign ghost nuns. Why benign do, ghost nuns. Why do you have to bring Valak in? I, I don't think if she's a ghost. I, I mean, Valak is a demon, uh, but. <sighs> I mean, I, I, the scariest nun I know is not even a. She's not like traditionally scary but it was like my primary school teacher mm. who was always very nice until she wasn't and then her voice changed very quickly wait wait she, she's a nun yeah mm. oh. nuns are scary Dude, all boys catholic school man yeah yeah, yeah. actually yeah because sometimes when we go for pray- prayers because my family is uh, buddhist right so they go for prayers and follow them and then there's this nun right who's super angry in her 70s drives a toyota corolla but super angry at the world i don't know why <laughs> How does the relation? I know. <laughs> I was like literally thinking like, you like, drive a Toyota, Toyota, you should be very happy. Uh, yeah, exactly. Like, Toyota, Toyota not that bad. Wow. No, no, no. <laughs> no, yeah, exactly. Like you drive a Toyota Corolla, you should be happy. You're a nun. You can drive. You know, you, you you have a good life, right? But then she's like super angry with everybody. You you look at her the wrong way, she'll give you the look. It's like what did I do? What did I do? almost almost at least you could see your sins. So yeah, we were terrified of her. Like I don't know why. Like we were like, yeah, don't mess with that nun. Uh. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry, yeah. Uh, Drives a vehicle and can see your sins. You basically just described Ghost Rider. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'm not sure to a flaming skull. Ghost, ghost Rider. <laughs> ghost Driver. <laughs> I Wait, I'm, hang on, hang on. I'm sure I can make a terrible joke now here about habit. <laughs> Please don't. Yeah, no. Get out, get out, get out. Okay. Okay. None of that. Ah, <laughs> good, good. Mm. One point. <laughs> no. So, um, Lost in Malaysia said that is it you? Is it him? Or did Wayne just shave? 
Just. Okay, that's that's a very weird question, but yes, I did. Thank you. I like how he like, like zoom into your face to see you. whether you shave. He was not sure. <laughs> Hey, yeah. Now there's gonna be a fandom about what kind of beard I have now. Yeah. Oh <laughs> no. <laughs> what? <laughs> and on top of you not saying where you live, didn't say you live in Augang in episode. No, I didn't. I don't know what you're talking about. He <laughs> <laughs> said he don't know how to spell. Yeah. Okay, but it's okay. It's okay. Let's just I'll move past that. <laughs> no. Along. What you, I like how you said move past that, but then you highlighted the comment. <laughs> Thanks, Kyle. No, but that thanks. That the, the, that couple of things popped up in my head. I was like, yeah, actually, he actually mentioned it quite a few times. <laughs> okay, let's let's highlight one more comment and then we'll start talking about sure. the formidable Miss Cassidy. Mm. So, why do you guys think that many uh, ghost stories involve toilet stalls? And then he says that I think I read a theory once that stalls resemble an upright coffin. I'd mm. just like to say I did not think that this was the direction that this episode was going to be going into. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it always happens, right? No, but not this prominently about toilets. Uh. Well, I, I think know, it's, like... it's probably similar to what you say. Like, that's the place you're the most vulnerable, right? Yeah, mm. So, yeah. you, the, the imagination is like... You, that's why ghosts also attack you in the bed because that's also... You're the most vulnerable oh, there. Actually, yeah, right. Yeah. So, you, you know, they're like unlikely to be attacking you while you're walking to work or anything like that. You know? Quite normal, are <laughs> yes, <exactly. laughs> Quite normal. It's uh. always when you're totally off guard. Yeah. I, I will say this, I have a ghost really wanted to like show how guard they were and they attacked you in the gym. <laughs> I'm like, well <laughs> done. Especially when you've done like the reps, right? It's like, bro, right? Like. <laughs> It'd be kind of cool that they're, I'm going to help you like lift this. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> best spotter ever, yeah. this one. <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, yeah, la, yeah. So it's vulnerable, and I think it's like because unwanted and you know, like poop and yeah. all, it's dirty, mm. la, So actually, it would be interesting, right? If we can get to work with any, wow, are, are, are those waste management places right haunted? Ah, because got a lot of like human, you know, like uh, apparently spirits live off like human waste sometimes. Yeah. So I read like what, they really? actually eat vom- yeah they eat vomit. That's what well, they... I didn't know this. Yeah, like holy I crap. The, the ones yeah, right? holy crap. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. Not just crap, but like vomit as well. Like huh. yeah. mm. so yeah, yeah. The the hungry ones. I can't remember what exactly they're <laughs> called. But they're, they're, there's a particular one that's always hungry. Yeah. That it has to keep eating and it eats poop yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. Huh. and waste. Yeah. And, yeah, okay, so we're gonna move past that. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Jer- thanks Jerry for the comment. He said I just joined and toilets. <laughs> toilets. Yep. That's the direction this episode took. We were all not prepared for this. I can okay. tell you all about it. Okay, never mind. Okay, <laughs> so we'll talk a little bit about the Formidable Most Cassidy, which yes. is available for pre-order right now. Where can we pre-order it? Just, uh, just... An epigram or at books, actually. Okay. Mm-hmm. We, we'll give you another moment to like... Okay. You know, to pimp it again. Nice. Don't worry. There, there'll be many of these moments. Yeah, um, sure. Okay. So your official description mm. is... This comedy of manners pits a Scottish governess against the supernatural of... I don't know why I'm doing the fancy Yeah, you sound like you're doing the Chinese Channel News Asia. Yeah, I don't know. Why am I doing Channel News Asia? Continue, yeah. Continue doing it? Okay. In 1890 Singapore, the formidable Miss Lida... Lida? Lida, yeah. Lida Cassidy arrives as paid companion to Sarah Jane Bendemir, whose family suffers under the thrall of Southeast Asia's most terrifying hantu. But there's more to Miss Cassidy than meets the eye, and she's face down worse in her life than a banana tree ghoul. However, she may have met her match in the... I'm going to mispronounce this. I always mispronounce this word. Indefatigable. Indefatigable. <laughs> yeah, good enough. Close enough. Businessman Mr. K. Wing Tong, whose large and constantly growing family clearly requires female supervision, especially of the particular kind Miss Cassidy can provide. Ill omens and strange happenings surround Mr. K and his colourful family, and Miss Cassidy must find a way to defend the ones she has learned to love. Now, just so we're clear, the banana tree ghoul, Southeast Asia's most terrifying hantu, mm-hmm. we are referring to, and we won't call her by name, <laughs> but we are referring to the very popular Miss P. Yes, yes? Yeah. it is Miss P. Okay. Um, or wha- Fatima Rocker. Yeah, apparently that's the other name for it, Fatima Rocker. Yeah. Yeah. Fatima Rocker. Yeah. I don't know why. I'm gonna go and research this. Yeah, it's I, amazing. Which does bring me to one of my questions also. What did you learn anything interesting about our our dear Miss P? Well, this is one thing I did not know before I started researching the book is that there is a nail in the back of her head. Oh, yeah. So if you 
put, if the nail is in, then she's a beautiful woman, and you you know you basically have her in your control. You can marry her and make her like fold your laundry and all that jazz. <laughs> once, <laughs> once oh, the you. nail is extracted, she reverts to form. So yeah, it's all about the nail, and I found that interesting because iron iron is actually kind of almost universally it it is supposed to have magical properties, mm, right? Because yeah. it's probably because it's related to magnetism. So in like, you know, in Western Europe, for instance, you put a horseshoe yeah. because it's made of iron, because it wards off evil, yeah. right? So yeah. the, for us, it's nails. For them, it's, it's horseshoes. Mm. And there's various versions of it also, like um, different metals. Like sailors used to, you know, have an earring, not because they were being vain, <laughs> because... Protect. <laughs> yeah, it, it was protective. And then, you know, they believed that when they drowned, they would have something to bring with them in the afterlife. So oh. metals, metals are very interesting. It, the, the, the role that they play in magic... Is very interesting. Oh, I didn't mm. know that about tailors. Yeah. Whole. Oh, okay. Interesting. Yeah, it was not decorative. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm, I'm I mean, sure they look lovely. It was decorative, but yes. They did look lovely as well. Yeah. 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 And oh. tattoos are tattoos as well. Yeah. yeah. Tattoos help them. Oh, I thought that's Garang, that's why. No, no, no. Identify lah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that just yeah, makes yeah, sense. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had no idea about the earring thing. So that's... The, see, I thought I, thought I was going to learn something about Miss P. I've also learned something about sailors. There now. you go. Sailors yeah. are yeah. very important. Very good book. You should buy it. <laughs> <laughs> See, so educational. See, very we're, educational. We're, we're shameless about not and just yeah. ourselves, but our guests as well. There we go. Yeah, yeah. buy it. <laughs> not about everything. La. Very specific <laughs> things. So apparently Wesley says that he, he, he knows about Fatima Rocker and he says that he can't wait for your book. Oh yeah. yes, I can't wait for his as well. His is very interesting. Yes. Mm. Wait, when is yours coming out again? Just to be clear. I we can pre-order now, but... Unfortunately, I do not remember the exact date. <laughs> August, August. Uh, Jason, um, I don't, don't remember. Some, somewhere Jason. close. Mid August. We, we'll make a post. We'll make a post. We'll yes. make a post. Uh-huh. We'll make a post. Don't worry. Pre-order uh, lah. Pre-order. Pre-order can. Pre-order can. Uh, pre-order can. Then, doesn't, pre-order then, then it doesn't matter when it's uh-huh. going to come out. You get one. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry. I have a question about the nail. So like, you you say that if you like can remove the nail, then mm. she becomes like beautiful or something. Yeah. So Wait. she will listen. Does she have her powers or she's just like a? N- no, she. It's kind of like um you've basically captured her. She becomes um, enthralled to you, right? So that's, that was kind of the way. I, I think it, it, is, it applies for quite a few female hantus as well, that if you keep, it's like a key, that if you keep inside, she becomes yours. She's your property. And she has to do everything you say. This is really messed up. Uh-huh. But yeah, but once the key comes on, then you die lah. <laughs> yeah. Die long, long lah, huh? But yeah, that's apparently the legend. <sighs> yeah. Oh man. Mm. Oh man. Mm. <laughs> the the extent you'll go to for dating. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> app, app idea. Terrible. Tinder but for hantu. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's hantu with H N T U. Like 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 you know grinder or stuff like that. We have to remove. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wait. It's an example, guys. Come on. Swipe so, like, right. I don't want this one. Ah. Yep. I don't know whether right or left. Actually, I don't know. I also don't know. <laughs> I, so I'm, quite, I'm quite sure right means yes, yes and, and left, left means no. Means no. Okay. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. I think. Oh, don't worry. Somebody will, will tell us in the comments. Okay. Confirm. <laughs> um, no, but could you tell us a little bit more about the book? Just to, like... Uh, well, it started off in the Circuit Breaker <laughs> because there was... <laughs> Nothing to do, right? Lockdown. So, Circuit breaker is lockdown. Totally, Singapore. yeah. Basically, it was a, a lockdown that they didn't call a lockdown. Because we hipster. Yeah. Mm, because we mm-hmm. hipster. We yeah. cool. <laughs> <laughs> but I got furloughed. So, there was literally nothing for me to do except write. Mm. So, I just went out and found random writing projects. You know, like magazines online mm. who were going, oh, open call. Okay, mm. write some stuff. And I like horror. Horror is like my thing, right? Thank you, thank you. We love mm, horror too. Horror. And I found this little Canadian thing. It, it was called Not Just a Pretty Face. And it was meant to collect female horror stories, female-themed horror stories. I'm okay, fine, I'll write a little ghost story. And because it was Canadian, I decided I, shouldn't make the, I should make the hero kind of universally accessible in a way, mm-hmm. you know? So I made her Scottish, partly because my husband is Scottish, so it was easy, <laughs> easy access, like, hey, you know, <laughs> and like, stuff like that. <laughs> anyway... So I created her and then I thought I'll put some, you know, Singaporean elements in it because I kind of want to introduce Singaporean ghosts, like Southeast mm. Asian ghosts in general because yeah. they're actually way scarier than any ghost in yep. any other part of the world. Like we have some weird we ghosts, right? We have some right? really rubber Some ghosts. horrible hantu. So I decided, okay, we'll, we'll take this kind of 
relatively Western, like, you know, that most people can identify with this lady. And I'll bring her into Singapore in, like, 1890s or so, because I think that period is really cool. <laughs> also not cool in some ways, but kind of generally, <laughs> generally interesting, lah, <laughs> huh? But anyway, so she comes there, and then she has to confront, uh, firstly, Miss P, our mm. lovely Miss P. Oh, and then later on, she goes on and confronts a Orang Minyak and a Toyo. Oh, and they're wow. all very unique hantus, right? So I decided that she should have some kind of magical power. So I made her also a supernatural being. And that's kind of where it started. More wow, powers, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So when I started it, it was only... Like, I mean, it was a short story to begin with, right? So it was maybe 15,000 words and it ended uh, where, where that particular one hantu was resolved. But the editor who got it said, I really like this story. Why don't you make it a novel and, you know, see where it goes? So I'm like, okay lah. Like, I got anything to do, so... Da, 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 da. <laughs> and then I decided, well, I'll send it out, you know, let's see who is op- taking manuscripts. And Epigram going to be taking manuscripts. So I sent it to Epigram, and then uh, Jason received, Jason Lundberg, the editor, and he mm. went, well, we are having the, you know, fiction prize now. Why not you just send it in, you know, since you send it in anyway. So I'm like, okay, I got nothing else to do. <laughs> photocopy, because you need the hard copy. Photocopy, printing, da-da-da-da-da, send it in. Uh, yeah, and then I just kind of left it at that. And I didn't really think it would get anywhere because this is a freaking ghost story, right? You don't, yeah. you don't really think of like ghost story as being literary prize. Even for Epigram, Epigram is quite kind of out there, you know. They like to do um, unusual things. Like one of the winners was The Gatekeeper, mm. which is like way out there, you know. I love that book. It's so out there. But anyway, yeah, so it, it got to the long list. At, at the long list already, I was like, oh, so cool, I'm on the long list, you know. <laughs> and the lovely Kenny Leck was like, okay, girl, if it doesn't go any further, I will still publish it for you. I'm like, mm, bless you. I take you up on the offer. And then it got shortlisted. I'm like, oh my god, right? And on the shortlist already, you know, Epigram's going to publish it more or less, yeah. right? So I'm like, oh, I'm going to get published, yay! And then, you know, we, we reached the point where um, it was the awards. And it's online. Yeah. Right? So I'm like, they're in my pajamas. I'm not really expecting to win anything. <laughs> <laughs> you know? And then uh, we, we did a lot of pre recording, right? I think Wesley will remember this. We did mostly we pre recorded everything so that they could, you know, make sure that there's no like feed problems mm. and stuff like that. So I'm just kicking back, you know, eating my dinner, watching TV. I'm like, okay, let's see who won. Da, 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 da. And I won. <laughs> like Sebastian Sim and I won. I was like, what? <laughs> oh my God. And then the message came in, it's like, okay, in five minutes, we're going to do an interview. Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, I, didn't, I missed the whole last part. I'm like, oh my God, change, put clothes. Like, <laughs> make up or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the, the first few interviews were like, hi. <laughs> that, no, yeah. No, no, yeah. And then, you know, Sebastian seems the other winner, right? He's won before, he's mm. the second time winner. So he's already like nicely dressed. He's like very calm gentleman, right? Going... Hello there. I'm like, oh! <laughs> I, I to be fair, I was like, what? Okay, your social media is force underscore me, right? May I made the force. It's May... a Star Wars pun. <laughs> okay. And good pun. I, I, mm. Fantastic pun. I remember like, cause I was following you, and then every single time it the 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 the, the whole prize advanced, like oh, mm-hmm. long listed, short listed. Every single time, you're like, huh, really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly. the, to summarize your your social media is like, huh, really? Yeah, I made it. Ah. Okay. Hey. <laughs> you know, the general <laughs> feelings like hey. the the ha me I really uh, just kept getting louder and louder on social media. Yeah. Really, uh. yeah, so at the end I I mean that, that poor interview, I don't know whether she understood a word I said. But yeah, it's a question. We'll we'll subtitle this later on. Yep. Ah uh, yeah, it was crazy. <laughs> and then, yeah, when I finally read the interview, I was like the poor girl had edit so much. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Oh, and even my pictures were all like you know I'm like just like selfie right because they're like yeah, we just need some photos I'm like, okay like random selfie <laughs> so in the newspaper when it came out you know there's Sebastian I mean <laughs> no, that sounds about oh, right oh tragic yeah mm. no. hey on yeah. brand uh. yeah on well brand, done Straits Times you did your best <laughs> you tried you tr- yeah okay lah I cannot tell selfie it's so okay lah <laughs> yeah true okay lah yeah so we'll we we link all that information that she just Hum tum <laughs> in the show notes uh, when it comes out in the audio version oh and we'll okay. do a post. Uh, yes. Maybe, maybe Mehan, I mean, uh, you can see this. This is a raw proposal. Maybe you can do a giveaway. 
Oh yeah. Autograph copies to some of our hey, nice. lucky. Yeah, right. Mm. Hey, if you want, you got three hunt two, you know? three right? Oh, got more. Well, no, no, three no, and the, a bit lah. Three and a bit, yeah. Three oh, and so a bit, yeah. a bit more hantu, yeah, a lot there. more hantu, right? You know, mm. you see? Only I, got two hantu I'm learning there. so much more about this now. Yeah. 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 Exactly, yeah. Yeah. I was already excited, then you told me like, oh, the song is... I, oh, can't yeah. wait. Yeah. I, I can't wait, I can't wait to read the book. <laughs> I think, wow. Not bad, huh? so yeah. now technically you're... You're technically under the same uh, publisher as Hoffman Walk. Yes. <laughs> yeah, not bad, huh? That's hint, true. Hint, wing, wing. Alright, yeah, wing, wing. Yeah, yeah. someone might be coming, I don't know, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> not not of my walk yeah, of, of course that not. That would be a bit difficult. Uh, that, that, a, bit, a bit weird also <laughs> la. I, I don't know la, Like if we if mm. we can get him, wouldn't you like to? Mm. Very on brand one, right? Oh. He's, he's scared. Oh. That's a big. Oh, you're gonna pay me fifty bucks? Then okay lah, yeah la. Fifty bucks, okay. I'll pay you fifty bucks. Apparently, la. that's what it takes to make me brave. <laughs> that's what it takes away. Like there was one, like one of you was saying that. Why did you guys do a uh, Ouija board? And then one of our listeners was like, they are not that dumb. I actually have tarot cards, so you know. Tarot, tarot, tarot cards, tarot I should cards say. are as yeah, frightening. I, I, I they're like scrapey, no? Yeah, but yeah. they do have is... some power, right? Well, they are, I mean, I, I, we, we run tarot cards classes quite a lot at Crane. In that room with the ghost. <laughs> so now they know lah. Yeah. Mm. Tomorrow I got one lah. You want to hey, come here? Hey, hang on, hang on. <laughs> so you run tarot card classes in the room? In the room with, with the, the ghosties. Ghost, yeah. <laughs> But nobody's borrowing a Ouija board yet. <laughs> no. Because I mean, like, you know, if anyone's Te- going to do it. <laughs> Technically, Ouija boards are still banned. But you can make your own. Oh, that's right. They're yes. actually very easy to make. Wait, wait, Banned from where? Singapore. Yeah. Singapore's banned them. Oh, really? Yes. I completely forgot wait, yeah. that. Yeah, oh, can't yeah. buy. <laughs> no, he's going to ask people for Ouija board. No, 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 no. <laughs> Longang Kitties, if you are listening, oh my God, we need board? to do an episode on the conspiracy behind the Ouija board. I'm, I'm so scared for your the care. Genre, you if where you're going, it's okay, if, we just donate it. if the authorities <laughs> don't believe in it, why did they ban the Ouija board? Ah, right. Machiam, right. Thanks, Mehan. <laughs> we're getting very like, Scientologists like, now. She, she's just like schooling us. <laughs> This whole night, like we we're learning so much, right? We're no, learning. but that's the thing. I completely like I I knew it was banned. I completely I didn't know it was banned. Yeah. yeah, it's still banned. As far oh. as but you can make one. It's really very easy. A B C D E F G one two three four five six seven. Here, put my phone. Let's <laughs> just go around. <laughs> it, that is a Ouija board already. I'm quite sure you can get it on your uh, as an app now. You can probably get an app. Yeah, yeah. You get a Ouija no, but app. the app right, no fewer. But I saw one. This is the most ridiculous one, and I'm not shitting the producers for doing it. I watched the Hong Kong. Um, supernatural show so it's uh-huh. like they go and investigate mm-hmm. I swear to god they made a emoji board <laughs> then they so will the ask them question then they was like uh, they will ask them like really messed up question and then they will point to the angry face they will <laughs> they was like bro they got so high tech man yeah I feel like we should take comments now <laughs> <laughs> okay let's take comments <laughs> Uh, so there's, there's nothing I can say that can top the emoji Ouija board. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so Red Out Diva recommends us uh, finding an episode of Nobody by Eric Koo uh, for the HBO show Folklore. Yeah, I've watched it. I like it. But I went for his talk for Folklore and I loved his, his talk because he said that he so directed intense. it inside a video village. And he, I mean, he died in the video village and the assistant director was like out there doing because he was scared. He was scared of, uh, you know, the... The ghost. I would be if I was directing a horror place in the place that is very haunted. I would be also. I I call bull. Why? Because you're the one that's always filming all the atmospheric stuff. It's very hard, la, because, But when you know that the place is dirty, yeah, then it's very hard for you to really think straight. And you're making horror, right? I don't know. So, uh, for context, right? Um, <coughs> HBO folklore is basically a compilation of Southeast Asian horror, mm-hmm. uh, by HBO. Um led by uh, Singaporean director Eric Koo. Uh, please check it out if you have. It has a lot of different interpretation of a uh, horror. There's one really good uh, one which I like. It's a bit more art house horror. Uh, it's by this uh, Thai, Thai director. Sorry, I can't remember his name and I don't want to try to pronounce it also. But it's about this um, ghost, Thai ghost, that's afraid of a white guy, a white human being. So it's kind of like the undertones <laughs> of society. Your face, Thai, you're like, what? <laughs> how Thai people are afraid of white people in a sense. It's like a society kind of thing. Mm. And they shot it in a way where it's in, on cam where it looks transparent. It's really cool. It's black and white. So check it out. Uh, folklore. Yeah. Great, great, great suggestion. Now, now Carl was like, mm, I want to go back and watch Folklore again. <laughs> haven't seen it in a while. Oh my God. I, I, I can say this. La. Not all episodes are that good. La, but you know. <laughs> but Singaporean pride, yes. Filmmaker pride, yeah. yeah. But but HBO, if you want to hire us, we still don't. Okay. 
<laughs> we 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 like like Gary uh, uh Gary Ng basically said we have the most dangerous uh ghost here Yao Kui yeah we are the Yao Kui uh, like what's what's Yao Kui school him well like, it's mon- isn't it just ghosts like no Yao Kui <laughs> like demons no Yao Kui is like <laughs> Yao Kui so clearly not Chinese enough oh my God. <laughs> Yao Kui is like greedy ghosts. We're, we're oh, greedy, right, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. We haul ourselves out there, like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah okay. Fifty bucks, then he will go hunter place. So yeah, pretty much. Uh. That's, uh, you know when you say it like that, it sounds terrible, bro. <laughs> it does, uh. I'm probably should have asked for more. Uh. You should have asked for more. Uh. So lost his manager said he has never, he or she has never been proud of hantus representing ASEAN as one of the scariest, uh, hantus on earth, like ASEAN pride. Yeah, I think. Yeah. yeah I think we have the best Asian, mm. uh, Asian, including Japan. China, Korea, yeah, we do have the best hantu, sir. Yeah. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Favorite hantu. Oh god. Oh, good question. Hmm. Wow, this is a difficult one, like. Okay, okay, okay. If it, if if it helps you, if it helps you, like, you know, percolate the idea. If you want, you can give favorite Asian and favorite Western hantu. Wow. Then at least you can answer the Western one first, then keep thinking about oh, the Asian I know my one. Answer really. This one even more complicated, like. <laughs> Okay, then just do Asian one. I think the scariest one is the peng- Penggalan? Penggalan. Penanggalan. 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 I never get enough syllables in the word. <laughs> the, the, the one which is like head and then just inerts. Oh, I yeah. think that is freaking scary. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty scary. You know about the blood, right? The blood. So like if that, you know at night, you know Penanggalan, right? It's like mm. flying, right? Which mm. is all its inerts, right? Mm. If you hang your clothes out and the blood drips on the particular coat belonging to the person, the person will die. In seven days, apparently, grandmother mm. still. Yep, this is why I hang all my clothes inside. So western, western, western ones are comparatively not that scary. Mm. I think the demons are scarier, like Struble Petter who cuts your fingers off. Um, there is a weird fairy. Fairies, by the way, in Western Europe are not pretty little Tinker Bells. Huh? they are very very scary. Yeah. I think the creepiest one is the one who has he has one no he has. One eye, one mouth, one leg, and he hops around. Wow! <laughs> Where? Uh, that is Gaelic, I think. Oh, like you know, Irish, Irish, yeah. Scottish, Wales. There, the, the the that area of the world has some damn creepy ones. Uh, the Banshee is from there. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, now, yeah. Now famous as an X Men, but <laughs> well, yes, there's that too. Yes, yes. But, but she she originally is their female ghost, right? So she's in white and she's got black hair and if you see her on the street, she basically will just scream and that means you're going to die <laughs> and you cannot avoid it. <laughs> so I always <laughs> imagine, you know, Sadako just standing there and going like, ah! <laughs> like oh shit, oh shit. And that's it, man, you're dying. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, you know, Sadako was... wasn't creepy enough to begin with. Let, let, let's have <laughs> a yeah. scream yeah. also. Oh, so that, that, don't, that... don't challenge, uh, don't challenge. Yeah, yeah. No. That movie, I, I still think that's the, the, the scariest movie I've ever watched, The Ring. Really? The it ring? Re- yeah, I think it's just the, the sense... Well, Japanese horror movies in general are yeah. very, very scary because of the sense of isolation that it the atmospheric, The atmospheric feeling, right? Yeah, the, yeah. the sound. And the fact that every character seems very isolated, you know, like... Yeah. yeah. And they're kind of dumb. Like, yeah, this videotape, <laughs> you watch it, you will be cursed. Okay. Let's watch it. Let's watch it. Yeah. And she watches it to the end, no matter how creepy the shit gets. To the very end, she watches huh. it. Yeah. Then the phone ring and what did they do? They pick it up. Moshi moshi. <laughs> and then die lah. Yeah. I, no. I like how I like how you all have accurately summed it up. And you're like, oh yeah. You watch thing and then you die and then the phone rings and you pick it up and then you go, moshi moshi. And then you die lah. <laughs> yeah, then you die. Pretty much lah, yeah. You know, you've you've ruined the scariness factor oh. of the show now though. Mushi mushi and then you die. Yeah. But yeah. she's, I think she's scary because basically she's unstoppable, right? You mm. you can't stop her. She, you know, they try, you know, the woman goes there, like, you know, the, the Western style is like, you go there and you solve her problem and you save her soul, blah, blah. She still got die. no soul. Still die. Yeah. You go and find her skeleton, she still come and kill you. She don't care, right? But that's the thing about Asian ghosts or so, I noticed. The, the, the Asian ghost is more... Not say unstoppable because they some of them do have their weaknesses, yeah. but they're more like hardcore where they're like. Yeah, there is hardcore. no resolution for them. Yeah, you know. We don't want to start a debate for our non-Asian oh, yes, friends. <laughs> what are you talking we about? We, yes, we do. We don't want to start like a full-on debate. Bring it on. <laughs> he doesn't. I'm bring it on, yeah, man. Gone, Western yeah. hemisphere do they have, do have their some which I I I go into my uh my fa- some of my favorite. I think the Western hemisphere the one Ang Mo goes right, Ang Mo Western ah uh, Wendigo. Oh, oh the Wendigo is quite creepy. Yeah, yeah, Wendigo is quite creepy. Yeah. Then uh, for Asian, I would 
probably is Yang Shi considered the the uh, ghost? Yang yeah, si. yeah, the jumping, jumping I Chinese. Guess so. uh, Technically, yeah, I yeah, guess. I, yeah. I, I like them lah because I, I love the movies. What about you, Win? Hmm. <coughs> I like how I ask the question. <laughs> them also, no. Very very clever. Well well done, Win. Well done. No, Miss P for me is the is the go to lah. Miss P, yeah. yeah. Miss P, it, she's just so iconic. Fatima rocker lah. Yeah. Fatima rocker. Yeah. I, I like how I'm talking about her as if like, you know. Your pal. Yeah, like Your Miss P. Miss yeah, you know, girl. No, but like, it's just, it's one of those things where like, you keep hearing about it when you were a kid. Mm. Yep, yep, and then yep. you grow up on it and then you watch like the movies with it and everything. And it's just, it's very weird for me to say this, but there's a certain sentimentality when I think like Southeast Asia. Yeah. I think Miss P. She is the most famous. She yeah. is the most famous. Yeah, she's, it, the, she's the face of the business. Wow. If you call zombies, zombies are scary, <laughs> like monsters. But well, zombie, there's no like face, there's no, it, there's no like tragic background. But Miss P got tragic mm. background, right? Well, I don't know lah. If you if you're Some undead, zombies, quite tragic yeah. lah. I played Last of Us, you see, so that's still like uh, frozen in my brain. Which one, first one or second? Both. I played both. Yeah, same. I love them both. Oh no! But <laughs> the 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 whole point of it was like the zombies were human, right? Yeah. <laughs> mm. And then they're based on the fungus that actually is yeah. real. It's the, the the freaking cordyceps by the the, the yeah. cordyceps fungus, right? So <laughs> <laughs> if you do not know, if you're yeah, not right. Asian, we eat these damn yeah. weird little things. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> This fungus that like attacks yeah. this caterpillar yeah. and it hacks its brain stem. So instead of like becoming a beautiful butterfly, it digs itself into the ground, dies, and then the, the fungus sprouts Come out. out. Yeah. And then we Chinese people eat it. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's why. basic yeah, la, like I don't think last of us would happen Sounds in delicious. Asian countries. Yeah. We would just pluck them and then eat and them for steamboat. <laughs> put steamboat. Right. Mala, you know, and eat. Uh-huh. <laughs> but yeah, so oh. that like I mean that was a scary one because you know it's it's just people who suddenly became funguses. Like yeah. <laughs> Attacking mushrooms. Yeah. Know? Let us know if you want to see Wayne play Last of Us. Cause do we want to see Wayne play Last of Us? Will I, I think that will be really fun to see. He was stuck in like... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Te- terrible person who hasn't played video games for like decades. Really? 30 years. Yeah, yeah. Go, go play video game. How This controller might got so many button one. Ah. Mehan, Mehan. His latest console right, was PS1. Oh no! I can hear you. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to make a- 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 ASMR. <laughs> Oh, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not game shaming you, but I no, really, no, no, no. I really think that you will like the Last of Us series. It's oh yeah, no, super it's atmosphere, fantastic. right? It's I've I've heard yeah. like weirdly enough, I've not played the game, but I've heard the score of it. Hmm? Oh yeah, yeah, um, yeah. What's uh, what's his name? Gustavo. I can something, never something. His, uh, I can never uh, remember his last name, but yeah, the score is fantastic. Yeah, mm. the guitar riffs and and you mm. know the sense of yeah, like, it's like it's like what you mentioned, right? the sense of isolation, the the atmosphere. Yeah. That's what we do at Hanto also because the atmosphere, right? Like we are trying yeah. to capture the atmosphere. Like the scariest Japanese films, right? That that I I I I'm still scared to this day is Dip. Uh uh what uh? what water? That water that, that water. water that water is damn scary. Right. So, yeah. I live at yeah. the last floor, water, then there's yeah. like water and dripping. Oh. Again, very stupid woman, the dead of night, she goes up to the water tank knowing there's a dead girl in there. <laughs> yeah. Like no, but the whole time I was watching, like it was damn scary. But I'm like, why did you not go there in the daytime? <laughs> oh well, I can picture you watching these movies now. Like, why, like, so why? Why are you going there? Why, at mid- what? You know, there's a dead girl. Why are you going at midnight <laughs> with one torchlight? Of course, we'll go broke. Of course, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Just not very bright people in these movies. Yeah. I mean, okay, just going back quickly the the formidable formidable Miss Cassidy. Mm. Like was there anything specifically that got you I mean aside from the fact that oh nothing to do law <laughs> Like was there anything specifically where you thought to yourself, okay I, I have to write this particular character and well, these particular monsters. Like what was it's kind of like the dream novel I always wanted to write, right? Because I'm like a huge fan of like Neil Gaiman mm. and you know the, the comic writer that shall not be named <laughs> and a few <laughs> others. <laughs> And they all had that similar thing, like Terry Pratchett and all that. that. There's that idea of like, there are gods and monsters and things living among us, but you don't know. They just look like human beings. Like, you know, maybe he's a demon. Who knows? <laughs> you know, he's got hidden powers, but he's hiding them so well. I am. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> and so that was the kind of, like the idea. That's where the idea came from. Mm. Because, you know, all these, right? I mean, most of the writers are going to be Western, right? So yeah. they, they, they will never have talked about um, the 
Miss P and and all our ghosts, our particular ghosts, our particular even our particular gods and and you know the mm. little like Datuk Kong and all these funny little gods that we have around, they won't know. You know, they will have like Ishtar and you know all the very exotic gods, but none of the little gods from Southeast Asia, and we're all still quite unique. And I just thought, well, you know, I want to write something like that, like something that is like has an uh, the, the idea that we actually Asians kind of do live among ghosts anyway. Like for yeah. us, it's not a big deal. Yeah. You know, you, we're like, okay. And then, you know, if you have friends who can see things, you're like, oh, there's a ghost there. You, you don't go, xiao la you, you know. <laughs> Where God? You're like, oh, okay. Uh, thanks oh. for telling me, you know, and you, you chow. And it's very normal to us. Yeah. But it's not normal in the Western world. You know, if you yeah, went yeah. there and said, hey, don't step there. Why? Got ghosts. What are you talking about? <laughs> you know? I would, I would love to believe that somebody in London, right, his exact response when you tell them was, what? Huh? What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Tom <Blah, blah. laughs> I'm not sure what you are talking about. <laughs> I do not see anything. I, this is not a British accent. <laughs> it's okay. I think I've done work. Like, I can't remember which accent I did, but I did some Australian accent probably, <laughs> and it was terrible. And it's just but like, yeah. yeah. I yeah. think some of the Scandinavian countries they still have like fairy villages and stuff where they're like, okay, let's just put some food there just in case. <laughs> just in case. Yep. But generally speaking, like, you know, the vast, uh, um, most people like Australia, uh, Australia and US and the UK and all that, they are a lot less likely to go, oh, well, there's a ghost sitting next to you. Mm, just be careful, yeah. Yeah, no, no, I think, I think yeah, that makes sense. Uh. It's, it's, it's kind of in line with what we do also at, at Hantu and Ghost Maps, right? Keep the tradition yeah. alive. No, and, yeah, yeah. And, and, and like, whether if it's like you believe or not, you're like, eh, yeah. right? We don't yeah. like, you siao I send you to side, <laughs> you know, sidewalk or something. No, like, it's just like, it's just in, it's just in our culture yeah. to have yeah. ghosts and we are entertained by ghosts. That's why you're watching right now, right? Mm. Not, not entertained as in the dance for You us don't anything, want okay? to be entertained by ghosts. Let's not be I, yeah. I, I, do, I don't want to be entertained. It, it's reverse lah. Like we do the girl tie and all. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> later you attract. Idea of like, yeah, later you attract. <laughs> Pontianak Highway. <laughs> Coming up from the banana tree. <laughs> you want my name? <laughs> yeah, it's good. It's a good thing that we uh we did some prayers we'll before this. <laughs> <laughs> did, did that make it into the novel? <laughs> so they won't. <laughs> they, they won't feel. They won't feel offended. Oh, good cry, good cry. oh my god. Oh my god. Oh okay. God. Okay. Yes. Too no. much imagery. Can yeah. I, so <laughs> you you should you I I guess you should thank uh Miss P for being mm. part of your story. <laughs> I think we all should la. Like yeah. I, I'm yeah. quite sure every Singaporean or like you know past a certain age probably has a Miss P story or knows oh, yeah. a Miss P story. Mm-hmm. Like everyone I know has some kind of Miss P story. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. I think like I, I, oh, like just also what you mentioned, right? Like how like it's a defense me- mechanism for uh women back in mm. those days. Even till now, right? Like. I, I do remember like my grandma telling me that you don't ever treat a woman this way. If not, she will kill herself and become a ghost and come after you. Wear it. Then I scare. <laughs> <laughs> then I'll be, I'll be, I'll be afraid. It's kind of sad, you know. I don't want to get into the whole politics of the things, but yeah, it, it does help. Yeah, it does help extremely uh, well for men. I'm not, I'm not sure what this says about him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, okay. I know what it says about people. It's not great. Yep. It, it is, it's not great. No. Yeah. No, but that, like that's the, that's the thing also like because we we had this conversation before when we had a panel at Korea and everything and it's just this whole idea of distorting the 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 not innocent lah but like the motherly mm. the yeah, wholesome that that yeah. stereotypical yeah. idea of women also that scares like, people. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. why fetuses also are, are a big like ghost oh, yeah. thing, right? Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. aborted one or Children. the still ch- stillborn one stillborn. and so on, mm-hmm. or you kill a a, a woman that's. Pregnant and she comes back as a ghost and that kind of thing. Yeah. Was that Nang Nang? I think Nang Nang was, was something like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, like she dies when she's either in childbirth. Yeah, yeah. and then and, and then, then he comes back and he thinks he's alive, but she's not. Da, 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 yeah, da. The hus- <laughs> then the husband eat rats for breakfast. I can't, I can't remember whether it was one of our guests, but they were saying like somebody we were talking about this whole idea of like you know women versus men in terms of of momoks and and, mm-hmm. and all that. And then like I. Somebody brought up, why are there more like male ghosts? And then the person said, well, because men in real life are really quite, can be quite scary. Uh, so, you yeah, know. We, we are, uh, right? right. Mm. We, we, we can be quite horrible in real life. So, no. you know, does that. I think it was me who said that men are the one, is it me or one of the guys? Men are the one who creates the ghosts. 
men are the cause and effect for the ghosts. If men don't treat women like, you know, Crap. shit, mm. then they won't <laughs> become ghosts. They won't go and kill themselves. They won't, you won't be murdered. They, you know? So I guess, yeah. Or just be a good person. La. I, mean, I mean, you know, you don't, you don't really need to be threatened by hantus to be a good person. But okay. Apparently you do. But apparently you do. No, but that, you know. that, that ties in with the whole Asian culture, right? Asian is ab- about cause and effect, mm. right? It's more of cause <laughs> and effect. And, yeah. Yeah. Asian culture. Oh, no. right. uh, Separate podcast, guys. <laughs> Ang Mo ghost, you open the door, got ghost. Hey, where got ghost? Yeah, then go in all the way. They say, I got ghost. No ghost, I send to site one all. Then Bopian already, then call the warrants. Again, <laughs> I like to believe that an American who's, who opens the door and gets confronted by what he thinks is a ghost, his response is the typical American phrase of, where got ghost? <laughs> exactly, yeah. <laughs> James Wan hires yeah, will make you your least successful horror film. <laughs> <laughs> we, we we are we are pretty much yeah holes uh, yeah you know. Okay, so you said um, um, the ring favorite horror movie mm. of all time, not just Asian one uh. Pretty much of all time because that oh. one gave me the the longest creeps. <laughs> wow! Like, Even you know, till now. Even to I think it's probably less scary now because I've watched it, but yeah. Mm. You still, you know, when, when you watch that, you still get the feeling that you want to cover your TV before you go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, interesting. Just like dark water, you don't want to go home on a rainy night after watching dark water. <laughs> yeah, actually, you are right. I was actually afraid of toilets and anything with water mm. at, uh, during that period. Yeah. Yeah, but now I, yeah, like, I do get some certain image, you know, like when, when I think of like rainy days. Mm. It is creepy. Mm. Do, have you watched dark water? I have, but... I don't know, for me, like, because I can't remember where it came out. It was quite close to around the time that Shutter came out, right? If I'm not yeah. wrong. Yes, yeah. about yeah. the same time. So, yeah. th- but that's the thing, Shutter always, like, it took the, it it took the title for me. Around that time, mm. Shutter, and it, till this day, Shutter is still one of my favourites. Mm. So, like, because I remember Dark Water and The Ring were roughly around that time. Yeah. There was a whole boom in Asian horror. Well, yeah. Asian, Thai and Japanese horror lah. But mm, Shutter yeah. was the one that, like, you know, that was the one that got me immediately. I was like, oh. Yeah. That's a pretty scary one, yeah. Yeah. Mm. And I I mean, yeah. yes, she's she's one of those, like, you know, the the, the, the ghost from Shutter is one of those, like, yeah, 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 yeah no, 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 I won't stop kind. But mm. also, it's like, you feel kind of bad for her. So, uh, so I was mm. like, no. Oh. Classic, uh, classic karma. Like, the Thais, they, they, because they are Buddhist country, right? So they deal with, like, very karma stories. Uh. Oh, oh, that's true, yeah. Oh, okay. Very, it's all Good about karma. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that makes sense, yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, you know, interesting. Okay, so <laughs> <laughs> let's get back to the comments. Uh, Lost in Manager say, where, where, we, where can we find the audio um, episodes? When they come out, we'll make an announcement, but you will be living in the same place as Ghost Maps. Mm-hmm. Uh, bought Plus... Uh, repeatedly saying Miss P's name and draw pentagrams during Hungry Ghost. Wow, wow. <laughs> what what, what do you want to summon? It's a bit of a mix also, right? Like yeah. Gigi Bot and Pentagram. And, <laughs> and then Miss P. <laughs> WSA. I suspect WSA you're from Singapore because only Singapore will do that because we're a secular country, we respect all religion and we mix like Xiao. Oh. Right? <laughs> Let me know if I'm wrong. Uh, this one, this one National Day promotion. <laughs> 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 well, about the same period, <laughs> la, you know. <laughs> Just I, don't, throw it in I, I, I don't know what we're going to summon, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who's going to come out of that? I can imagine just like behind the scenes, they're all like, okay, which one do y'all want to go? They I'm may not, not come sure. through, yeah, they'll come through the gateway going like, who are they calling? Uh? Yeah, but <laughs> do, do you want, maybe one at a time, like, you want me to call yeah, the other one? Just, come just, on, me? No? Yeah. Yes? No? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, yeah. now I just got this mental picture of some demon, any demon or any spirit going, Siang Kapeta. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the, the world doesn't just stop when you stop in tech, terms of technology, right? Yes, I know. I okay. know you're stuck in pager. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's not helping that we just talked about how my last video game console was a PS1. I know. Dude, I'm leading into this. I don't care. So, Lost in Malaysia say that if we do that, we will literally become hantus. Yeah, pretty much. Mm, mm, mm. I do not do that. Yeah. It'll take more than 50 bucks for me to do that. I'll tell yeah, you that 50 much. Bucks. You can earn 50 bucks. 50 bucks can buy a lot of health paper. Like, mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, right? So, Red Dot Diva says that uh, she likes the Thai ghost one. Yeah. Mm. Which one? Yeah. Let us know. Uh, Nang Nat or like the Shutter one? You know what's the scariest scene for Shutter? You know where the part where he goes to the ladder? I think I saw it. <laughs> Okay, the, <laughs> she, she sits <laughs> on him la, basically. Alright, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Then yeah. she climbs downwards towards oh, him. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh man, that scene always gets to me. Yeah. 
<laughs> you sound so sentimental about it. Oh, it's, 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 it's in a scary kind of way. Yeah. yeah. Just a random guy says that is dead air available on Spotify been repeating, repeating ghost maps. Addicting addicted to our content. Thank you for Aww. the support. Uh we will try our best to get it soon because we need to clean up because we apparently we swear a lot. And uh, we, we ramble a little I bit. I don't know what the you're ram- talking about. R- ramble a little bit too much, but you like right the ramble. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Stop flirting with our audience, Carl. <laughs> yeah. Uh Gary corrected me, he said Yao Kui means hungry ghost. Mm. Oh. I all oh, as if I nearly got it. No, I was like, huh, what? <laughs> Yeah, he. I, I'm gonna try to say what he's trying to say. Um, I know I am fluent. In Hainan, Hok- okay, wait. I'm, I'm gonna, fluent in Hokkien. Wait, let me let me let right. me try to say it first. Let the <laughs> obviously he knows Hokkien, so let let oh. he knows Hainan. Clearly, yeah, in Hainanese. Nan bo ti nan, kui bo ti kui. Very very not bad. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. No, 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 yes, no. no. All right, yeah. yeah not bad. It basically ni hao. <laughs> It basically means if you don't disturb people, the ghost won't disturb ghosts. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong, okay? I think I think it's basically if you're a good person, ghosts won't disturb you. Lah. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Which is not true. WSA says that favorite Asian ghost, Hantu Tete. A lot of otakus will will, will, will agree with you. Lah. Why <laughs> specifically otakus? <laughs> you know, they like them, you know, Basa. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> Not shitting on v- you guys. Very but specific but otaku. No, it has to be Japanese otakus. See, it, okay. No, but here's, here's the thing that I, I love about the Hantu Tete, okay? The fact that Southeast Asia could come up with a ghost called Hantu Tete. I'm like, you see, that's why like... Love, you, know, uh, you sure you want to say that during Hantu's month? Okay, love, uh. not, not, <laughs> love, not in that sense. But like, that's what I love. Okay, that's what I love about this... The, the supernatural culture that we have earlier. That, they're so colourful. Mm, mm. It's so... Like, okay, just at the start, you were already like, Miss P, Hantu Tete, Penanggalan. Three, off the top of your head. And that's that's just our more famous ones, really. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. that's what I love. Right? You need to find the indie ones, uh, the ones that are hiding. The indie ones. Uh. Yeah, underground. <laughs> okay. The indie ghosts. <laughs> that, that one, I believe, is Pochong. Uh. Pochong's pretty creepy, though. Yeah. Yeah, mm. yeah pretty creepy. Jump jump around and Which, all. to be fair, I like I didn't know about the Pochong... Uh, entity for until like fairly recently so it's quite a new one for me I, n- yeah. I never heard about it before that's why you can see a lot of like ghost mess episode with that entity it's like yeah we, we, it's like oh yeah pochok okay cool let's write about it yeah then and and Mehan says that that's one of the creepiest that we listened it right? is, yeah mm. yeah yeah I, 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 I do agree that that was pretty creepy while we were mm. recording it as well yeah <laughs> Yeah. I li- I, sorry, I like I like one of the comments on here. Gil Chong says Japanese horror got boring because you know the ending. <laughs> they all die and the cycle just get just continues. But that's all Japanese, like even happy animes, everybody dies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, flipping love story, everybody dies. <laughs> oh no, Kimi no yeah. Oh, no. yeah. I'm just yeah. waiting. My hero academia, everybody dies. I don't know. Yeah. I was a big Dragon Ball fan. They died like four times each. <laughs> Hmm. Come back with oh Halo, everything. Die again. Oh come back again. <laughs> Pretty much, uh, yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. Well, to be fair, I am watching Attack on Titan now. Like, it does seem like. Oh, my God. He's, he's very proud of it. Yeah, I'm very proud of it. He's very proud that, at the fact that he's watching Attack no, on Titan. Yes, now. Like, yeah. What like, are you at season one? Season two. two. Oh, okay. I don't, you I got, don't, you I don't want to like, break anything, but everybody. <laughs> I, I'm very slow, but if you say everybody dies, I. No, no, they always die like a heroic way, right? Like Japanese anime. Some die heroically, some die like to tell you a moral lesson. There's always Mm. a lesson for Asians. There's a thing. Yeah, when you die, there's always a lesson. Every single Asian movie, horror movie or whatnot I've watched got lesson one. Okay, we're staring off of horror here, but Akira... Hang on. Akira has one of the most horrific deaths that I remember where, you know, he becomes the the, thingy. And then Spoiler. his girlfriend is caught in, in his tentacles. Yes. And then it just goes, and then yeah. the whole screen turns red. You're like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, when I think Akira, Akira, all I can think about is two of them yelling at each other. Well, there's also yelling at each other. Yeah. There's a nice, cool motorcycle, but. Mm, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's pull ourselves back from. Uh, let's put a break mm. to Akira. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's ever said that. It's but pretty yes. horrific, yeah. Yeah, It is pretty, pretty horrific. It's pretty horrific. Uh, horror, but pretty so, horrific. Mm. Mehan, do you have more ghost stories for us? Oh, gosh. 
<laughs> okay, what, okay, what was maybe not to you, but what was the first ghost story you ever heard? Oh, hmm. hmm. It's probably all the Stephen King that I used to read. <laughs> which one? Which one? Which one? Oh my god. Uh, I started with Carrie, and then I re- I read pretty much all the old like eighties nineties ones like Carrie, Christine, Salem's Lot, mm-hmm. uh, Salem's Lot. The, the Four Seasons one I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> all the, the the Salem's Lot had a few like and then they had Misery and so yeah. on and so forth. But actually, the, the creepiest one I found was Kujo, which is about a dog, and you don't think that it's that really scary. yeah. yeah. Because no, it's so thick, right? Like, Stephen King writes real thick books in the 80s. And you're going like, hmm, what's happening? <laughs> <laughs> and it, essentially, it's all about this dog slowly going rabid. But the, 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 the Stephen King style is to put you in the mind of each character, right? Mm. He's, like, very psychological. Yeah. And, and people get, like, you know, see the, the, the horror kind of builds, the suspense kind of builds. And the horror of that one is that the end of it, there's no ghost demon. There is a yeah. rabid dog who has trapped this... There's a mother and her sick child in a... I think it was a truck or a, or a car mm. or something. And they're caught in like the hottest summer of the season. So there's the sun beating down on this car that's slowly microwaving her son. And she cannot get out because there is a dog, a rabid dog walking round and round. And the horror is not the dog, but it's her just like... Her son is dying in her arms and she cannot do anything about it. Mm. You know, and that's just so terrifying. And then at the end of the story, because it's Stephen King, everybody comes too late. Nobody can save him. And it's mm. like, oh God. Yeah. Like, it's horror on so many levels, you know. The dog, which was a very nice dog, is like, he, he becomes rabid, you have to shoot him, the son. Like, the whole, it's like cavalcade of terrible decisions made by many people yeah. <laughs> that leads to, you know, this, this terrible ending. Oh, that's true, actually, yeah. Yeah. But the vampire I... shit is real scary, too. <laughs> <laughs> Salem. See, I was going to go on like, you know, well, yeah, you know. Very deep, very profound, yeah. but the vampire shit? The vampire shit, though. That, yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. vampire babies? Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, like six. Like, not n Rice vampire babies, vampire babies, okay. Like, vampire babies, like, not vampire babies. These are, yes, these are yes. vampires that rip you up. Not like Edward Cullen, that's like, rip you apart. Uh, Edward apart. Cullen is not even, I don't even. He's shining, like, he's shining. Hey, no, 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 no. Hey, hey, like, like, hey, let's, let, let's go back to Stephen King. Then, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 so, yeah. <laughs> You're like, S- no. Similar no. lots always similar get to me. Pretty, yeah, yeah, they always get to me. Mm. Yeah. Well, The Shining is very scary too. <laughs> like some yeah. of the scariest parts in that book never made it to the movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like the, yeah. Like the hitch monsters coming up. <laughs> I, I love the whole, I love the whole thing about like how Stephen King just absolutely hated it. Like, yeah, what it because it was not really true to yeah. his book. Yeah, it was a not, great movie, but it wasn't his book. Yeah, it was, I mean, it was a great movie, and like, but the book also was very personal to him as well. Right? Yeah. Right, yeah, and it's damn scary. And yeah, he stayed in the hotel, right? And, and, mm, and, yeah, he and did. When, when he wrote the book, yeah. And so. he was inspired by the weird hitch monsters. Yeah, so... <laughs> I, do, I do remember we were in San Diego, like me and a couple of friends were in San Diego, and literally the hotel we were staying in, right, the carpet... The pattern looked somewhat similar to the pattern of the carpet. <laughs> and Shining, we were like... Come and play with us. Yeah, we were like... <laughs> Oh, you want to go outside for smoke or not? Hey. Nope. No, okay, cool. We'll yeah. just stay here then. Yeah, yeah. But do you have any more personal ghost stories? Well, I've never been able to see ghosts. So like feel you know. or like strange things? Mm, not like, like, I kind of sometimes think like, is that something? But you know, I, I don't know. It could just be the aircon not working. <laughs> Who knows, you know? <laughs> but I used to have friends who could see and they'll say like, you know, I remember when I was quite young, um, I think it was an older cousin who mm. said, come off that swing quickly, come off that swing. Because somebody was... And when I got off the swing, the swing, they keep going. <laughs> and, you know, and, you know my, my aunt was swearing like, you see, you see, but, you know, it could be the wind. Who knows? But that's, that's, that's the earliest memory I have of somebody who said that they could see something there and told me to quickly get off. Damn. Mm. No, see, like, that's the kind of... I mean, okay, yeah, it's an actual incident, but that's the kind of ghost stories I really love. Mm. Where you're like, you have no idea what they're maybe, seeing. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> you have no. no idea what they're seeing, they're like, just get off. Yeah. Just get off. But machine. you listen, right? Yeah. You didn't pull an ang and say, no, la, no such thing. Well, yeah. When you're a kid, you kind of take it on, on yeah, trust. Yeah. It, would be, it would be quite funny if you just went, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> but you, you don't like, tell me what to do. Even if you don't believe, right? I, I mean, as an adult now, mm. you, you still, you're still like, you still like listen. Yeah, on the same side, you, like, right? You yeah. just still. Like if you you have a friend, like, hey, hey, let's go, let's go. Then mm-hmm. you know, but you just listen. You yeah. Know? I think that's very universally like Southeast Asian, right? Mm. Like, yeah. Because it's even like, yeah. like my family, like 
is is one religion and then like when it comes to hungry was one day like hey be careful lah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean all NS men pee don't pee on the tree without saying sorry it doesn't matter who you are mm. you know where you're from <laughs> <laughs> whether yeah. you believe in anything whether you believe in nothing you still say sorry to the tree very important rule yes yeah, yeah. very important rule because the tree has feelings mm-hmm. also that yeah yeah that, that too yes yeah no that's what we're referring to mm. no. yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> the tree has feelings okay <laughs> Swamp Thing <laughs> 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 whoa whoa they're all different different franchise they're all different Swamp Thing will be very pissed if you pee don't you? yes <laughs> yeah Depending on uh, Alan Moore version, he's quite chill. Uh, so. uh, Alan Moore is very scary though. He is. Something I is love a comic. him so much. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I can say. I, I mean, I'm not as nerdy as them. But something, hey. is, a, something is a comic. I mean, yeah. It's, it's a, a compliment. Comic. Okay. Mm. It's a comic. It's true. <laughs> yeah, it's true. It is a compliment now. Yeah. <laughs> Back in the 90s, probably not. No. no. Yeah. No. So Gary Young said that Western horror characters have been popularized to such an extent where they become cliches as compared to the Eastern ones. Hmm. Uh, true true but I mean you could you yeah. could say the same yeah. thing about yeah. Eastern um, yeah about Southeast Asia that's the water cooler by the way yeah, that's no, the not sound that you what water cooler <laughs> it, was, it was behind you yeah. Yeah. yeah so yeah yeah yeah, yeah. no yeah. I think James Wan did a really really great job uh, with with the Conjuring Universe as much as what people would disagree but I, I I'm a horror creator I know what I'm talking about I can Ooh. tell you for sure. I can tell you for sure he did a great job as compared to all the other creators. And oh, yeah. based on the fact that he was born a Malaysian. So Southeast Asia pride right there. I think he, I, I think la, like the Southeast Asian horror did influence him a bit. Oh, uh, I'm sure. He doesn't have like the whole Western horror. Tro- I'm not saying Western horror tropes is bad. I'm just saying like the cliches. Because like what he mentioned, Eastern horror also have the cliches. Mm. I always have the, you know, the weeping woman at <laughs> night. The mm. cliche or like the door like that you know we, we do have the, those tropes uh. we do mm. but like you know yeah I, yeah. I think I yeah, think yeah, yeah, it's yeah. yeah just because like like what Gary is saying just because it's um so yeah. popularized that yeah, it yeah, becomes yeah. that big of a trope uh. of course mm. yeah but I do know that you know there are directors that are trying to change different things yeah I think the most recent one that I watched was the autopsy of Jindo wow that's really messed up you don't really see the entity until the end but it's basically a father and son like cutting open a uh, corpse that's super weird. Like weird things start to happen. And then, you know, I, I don't want to spoil you, la, but mm. do watch that film. It's, it's an indie horror. I think it was it was fantastic done. Like it's just a dead body that can cause so much like horror. I want to I I jump back though, but because we were talking about yeah. like Swamp Thing and Akira and yeah. all that. No, uh, we, we're not going to talk about Akira, don't we worry. Go. We could talk about Akira we for could, a very we long could, time. Could. But there are different podcasts. Mm. We asked for favorite horror, favorite horror. No, we asked for favorite horror film, favorite yeah. horror comic. Wow! Mm. Ah, ah, wow! The, that, that's where the nerdiness Junji come out. Ito, one, two, three. Ah. <laughs> there was another. I knew it. I knew there was it. A, there was oh, another guest yeah. uh, that said that. Mm-hmm. We had another guest. Who, what? Who said Junji Ito? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who are? Uh? I. I love um, his works. Yeah, terrifying. It was, it was terrifying. John. Yeah. It was probably John from Long- Longkang Kitties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Junji mm. Ito. Yeah, says a lot about it, the creator. Which one? <laughs> Fantastic. Right? Oh my god, I don't which even one? know which Go one. On. Uh, well, they're all they're all pretty damn scary, man. <laughs> like this Uzumaki. Uzumaki was especially weird and especially scary because yeah. it's it spirals. Like, what's so scary about spirals? Oh my god, spirals are very scary. <laughs> Uzumaki and um, I remember that he had a short story as well that was just about fish. Like mm, yeah. fish and shrimp, you know. Like, I think he was probably inspired by a fish market or something. And then suddenly all these dead fish could grow like little legs, little cockroach legs, and he could run around the, the place infecting people. But what was scary was that, you know, he started out with this very pretty, you know, the typical sort of Junji Ito kind of face. <laughs> this character, you know, the big eyes and the kind of look. And then as you progress through it, she gets infected and she becomes this bloated horrific looking Ooh, thing oh now we know the one you're talking about yeah. and then you know she will kind of exude gas a very horrible yeah. stench and uh, it was just <laughs> it was just, everything he writes is just terrifying yeah uzumaki is definitely my favorite it but is terrifying that's like like because it's the first one i ever like read of his because i saw mm-hmm. i think i saw the movie, the movie first. Right, yeah and the movie was like fine and then i read the comments like what the hell yeah it's, oh my god. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, people yeah. becoming oh. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> the snails and everything like uh, Ah Junji, okay, okay. I, I'm sure yeah. they have like adapted some of or tried adapted some of his stuff, right? Um 
his stuff is quite hard to adapt. Yeah, he's a bit more out. Like I would say, for lack of a better word, crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Like normal things, like fish, like. Yeah. Right. That's messed up. That uh. one was damn strange. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's messed up. I saw the image. It's really weird. Yeah. Everything he. Uh, yeah, <laughs> everything yeah, I know it's like, scary. Uh, like. Yeah, because I can't think of anything else that they've adapted from him aside from Sumaki. From Sumaki sure was probably the easiest to adapt yeah. because there's a yeah. obvious visual image. Yeah. The rest yeah. don't really have. They, it just creeps yeah. you out because it's creepy. Yeah. 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 Like the girl. What was it? Namie. Yeah. Namie. Yeah. Yeah. Like she's damn cre- cre- creepy, yeah. but you can't quite say why. You yeah. Know? Yeah. Probably that one, that's one that's one of those where it's really specific because if you don't have his art style then it's, just, yeah. it's not gonna work like. the face yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> the face big eye small mouth see like now I'm, I'm only gonna be able to see that specific Junji Ito face now yep. Yep. she'll be staring down at you yep <laughs> night win so oh this is a great uh, question I think yeah you should answer it Edwin 2 says that is Southeast Asian horror any interesting ones from I mean all you heard lah from Vietnam, Laos, Cambodia, or Myanmar region. Oh wow! I, I he he oh. knows nothing about the spiritual culture. I think I don't. You guys know? They're actually we are actually all quite aligned. This whole region, all the way through into Philippines, yep. like mm. there is a Filipino version of the Ping It's called Mananangalan. Mananangalan. Mananangal. That's even more syllables. Mananangal. Yeah. 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 So I, I, they are all relatively similar. I think because basically we are all, you know, traditionally we all keep the same traditions. Like yeah. I think there's a rice party ghost. Mm. Yeah. yeah. I can't remember the name of it, but yeah, rice party ghost. Where else you go rice party? Right? It's all yeah. here. Yeah. Uh, there are quite a few, like, the names all are different, but yeah. they are all similar ghosts. Like the pregnant woman ghost, you know. Mm. Yeah. Um, there are quite a few who are the usual, like banana tree or... Uh, what other trees? Are there? The, 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 there's a banana tree. There's frangipani tree. Papaya tree. I don't know. The papaya. I don't think it's a papaya. I don't know. I don't that? think. I the only tree I know that's for certain is definitely the banana tree. Yeah, yeah. Banana tree is like because we I, we've discussed it. So banana tree. There's there's um, there's Miss P. Mm. There's again if I'm mispronouncing it, I love I, it when he does that. I I I write it down. It's fine. Pa Chiao Kui. Yes. Pa Chiao Kui. I was close. Yeah, I was closer this time. Pretty, pretty well close. done. Better than my pagala. No, or you try the, or you try xiang jiao, xiang jiao kui. Yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah. banana tree. Yeah. And then there's there's one in Thailand also, the nang tani. Yeah. 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 Tani, yeah. yeah. It's the same thing, lah. Right. It, yeah, yeah. Well, there's slight pretty, differences. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Cultural differences, but mm. it's pretty much like the same. Because the one in Thailand apparently is mostly benevolent. Like yeah. She'll offer like. But the spirits more than ghosts. Yeah. Yeah. If you don't piss them off, they don't. Yeah. <laughs> they don't she, do you. she apparently offers treats to like traveling monks. Oh. Yeah. What a nice ghost. I know, right? Mm. How come we don't get this? Why do we get? Like, yeah. We get the hardcore <laughs> ones, the blood down the uh-huh. shirt and the hair and the nails. Hers Wait, offers treats. We did get the booped. <laughs> the, the, the we booped did. One. We did. Booped but one. also, she smothers you to death. Yeah. Also, you die. Yeah. So, so you, you don't know. get sweets. Yeah. 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 Mm. yeah. It's an interesting way to die, but you still don't get sweets. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, so I hope that answers your question. Uh, yeah. I think I do I did tell I did tell a Myanmar uh, horror story. I think it was a couple episodes back. Yeah, I'll, I'll link it down uh later. So it was a hotel horror story. So yeah. Oh hotels. Yeah, hotels. Yeah. <laughs> Fun. I like this one. I like this question. Yep. Jolene I, asked question to all if you were to choose a horror to movie to live throughout true for a day, which movie would you choose? Wow. You're the guest? Go first. <laughs> Good, because I need to think about which horror. Oh my god. Choose. Which horror mo- movie specifically? Yeah. Huh. Yes. Wow. Ah. Uh... So I presume that we all survive, lah, okay? So Well, live through doesn't necessarily mean live to the end. Okay. You go through the day. Okay. La. So yeah. it depends on you, lah. Okay. Oh. oh my god. No, I have to think one also. Wow. I'm like referencing my very large collection of horror okay. movies. I'll, I'll, I, I have an answer already. Okay, so I'll, I'll okay go, guys, go. Uh, The very, very first Mr. Vampire, 1985. <laughs> <laughs> this is what? cheating. That's not really a horror movie. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. Super. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, it, it does have spirits in it. Well, like that, I can also it, say it has one. Two, uh. No, it has, it has a spirit in it. One. One oh, spirit. Got, got spirit? Yeah, yeah. One spirit. But... 
technically is it a horror horror? No. Cause it, you could also what? say Evil Dead 2 is it is a horror. horror what? Isn't horror it horror comedy lah? Yeah, you could choose okay, Shaun so of the Dead. Okay, so if <laughs> you... Yeah. Okay, so let's... And then I'll just hang out with Shaun. <laughs> then let's change it. If it's horror horror, I oh, will yeah. probably say... Cheater siya, Mr. Vampire. Hmm. <laughs> Super cheap. <laughs> wow, it is hard lah. Hmm. I see not all of us on there. God damn, Jolene, that was a damn good question. That is a damn good mm. question. Okay, so uh, I will say The Maid, Singaporean Pride, Singaporean Filmmaker Pride. Okay, oh, The Maid. I wouldn't want. Because The Maid is a location and is a period, I presume, Hungry Ghost one because The Maid is set in Hungry Ghost in Singapore. Uh, and I'm... I don't work for anyone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's all I'm going to say. So I will just leave the place and go home at night. Oh, hi. So I'll be safe. Well, okay, fair enough. Uh. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay la, no lah. But like, if I really do work for someone, uh, then yeah la, I will just tahan and I will I will leave the place uh, until like at night. Then I will pay no, I have to stay uh. See, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go the opposite route of you, because I know. Okay, let's let's just assume that I know I'm going through a horror movie. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If I'm gonna die, and odds are I'm probably gonna die. <laughs> okay. I wanna have fun. Okay. So I'm going to go with... I know I said no horror comedy, but technically there's more. There's a lot more gore in this than Mr. Vampire. Evil Dead 2. That's also cheating. <laughs> How that's, is that cheating? I can't stop more die on. No. This is super... No, it's not about Okay, okay, dying. okay. Fine, 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 fine. Fine. All right? <laughs> what baskets? You know I got to think again. <laughs> wow, this is okay, tough. So, Mayhan, do you have uh, an, an answer? Uh, it's very hard to choose, but I think I would choose it. Because Whoa, I, wow, wow, yeah, Garwana. <laughs> no, that see that, wow, the loud. reason why I would have chose Evil Dead is because you die, got whom die fast one. Mm. Mm. It wow, loud, that was wait, psychological wait. torture. Which version? <sighs> it does matter though. It does matter. Yeah, that's true. Probably yeah. the the newer version lah. It's a bit kinder, but firstly, most mm. of them survive. Most lah. And secondly, actually, they had a choice. You know, they could have decided not to go back and save their village in twenty because there's a twenty eight year gap, right? Yeah, when that's a true. Child, when they're yeah. children, yeah, yeah, yeah. they resolve that kind of. Then when they grow up, uh, he comes back. Yeah. And then they all start, you know, contacting each other like, oh, we got to go back and 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 kill the clown. Like, why? <laughs> like, this is what I never understood. Like, why must you go and save the village? Who you know, most of you, nobody there really like you. You were the outcast, right? But they still went back. So you have the option of firstly, either not going back. And secondly, it actually turned out to not be a, a ghost at all. Spoiler. He was sort of, um, I mean, it's very old. Huh? Yeah. If you haven't read the book, it's going to read the book. It's an alien. <laughs> it's, yeah, basically. Yeah, you, you, you will read it. Oop. So it is killable. It is a, a, a problem that can be resolved if you just destroy that. Entity, yeah. Unlike Sadako, but, who cannot but, be destroyed. But one day though, where got time? Well, yeah. well, well. Let me see. You go there, then you just chow. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I got. Like, I, I, I tell you how to kill them. Then I'm gonna go by. <laughs> no, you don't even need to go there. Just so, call them. Yeah, I just like. Let, let me. E- I email you. Uh, I email you a document. Well, like, okay. Depending on which version. I give you PDF over. of the exact oh, yeah. ways. Yeah. No, he's right. Depend. If you go the original version, mm. yeah, then you probably can't do that. But if you go the modern so version, call, yeah, 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 you can so call. Yeah, so yeah, I read the novel, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> <This is how laughs> okay, guys. Spoiler. Yeah. Here's here's the number to Stephen King's office. Yeah, guys. Spoiler. There's gonna be a giant spider involved. Don't ask. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what's the thing with these spiders. Right? There's always so giant spiders. So always giant. You can't yeah. have the spider. Even Harry Potter, so much have spiders. I don't get them. <laughs> yeah. Know, maybe because I'm a Spider Man fan, so I don't find them that creepy. Uh. I don't know. Hmm? Yeah, pretty it much. Yeah, spider Man doesn't look like a spider. You know, I know, but then he's got the spider on the chest. So, yeah, but know, there are actually no spiders yeah. in yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which also could explain my, my why I'm so terrified of lizards. Is there a lizard man? Yeah, lizard. I think it's a chichak man, you know. Oh, there is a chichak man. There is a chichak man. man. But that's for another podcast. Wait, what's your answer? There, there's ch- oh, sorry. Yes. Okay, I know what my answer is. I figured it out. They might have said chichak man. <laughs> it's not gonna be chichak man. It's not gonna be chichak man. Although now I wish I had said chichak man. No, Friday the Thirteenth. Oh. Original Friday the Thirteenth. Right. And here is why. Mm. Because my last thoughts before I get killed are: uh, Why is this auntie trying to kill me? She's not scared. It's not Jason. Look, if you haven't seen it yet, too bad, okay? This movie's very old. It's not Jason. Hmm. It's his mom. Hmm. 
yeah, okay? Yeah, yeah. Some mm. auntie comes at you and tries to kill you. You're going to be too confused to be terrified. That's true though. I, w- I will get killed by Mrs. Voorhees. Although in Psycho, she gets killed by an auntie technically. That's true. But it's not really a horrible movie. I, no, but that's the thing. I, I was contemplating whether Psycho counts or so. Mm. Like, mm, maybe, if Psycho kind counts. of like, I guess. Three yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Friday the 13th is very on brand because today is Friday the 13th. This is right? true. Oh, that is true. Super, I actually, actually wasn't thinking about it. Okay. Yes. Mm. But is it a really horror? It's more of a slasher, right? It's a thriller horror. Yeah. It's slasher, a thriller horror. Slasher flick. Yeah. You just start cutting people out on Friday the 13th. Yeah, but you know, it's, it's horrifying. Uh, so so oh, now we probably. know like, where you're going. You like slashers, right? Mm. You know, no, I, like I, cutting I, people up, right? I just, I, I, if I'm going to die, I want to die in a way that confuses the crap out of me or at least if I'm not going to have fun, hmm. at least I'm confused. Okay. I wanted to go with a, like a zombie movie but I felt like that was too obvious an answer. <laughs> so I was like, well, okay lah, go, go with something, go with something a bit weird lah. So like, oh, auntie come and kill you then you, huh? Yeah. That is a bit confusing. If I recycle then like the last thing before I die is like, wait, is that Norman? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Isn't that the guy from front the egg? Get your truth. So Jolene, we uh we hope that you like the answer. Oh god. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry for the answer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love how we just jump. No, Mr. Vampire does not count. <laughs> does not count. Now after yeah. I can ask. No, oh, evil dead 2 does not count. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I didn't say Army of Darkness. <laughs> Even worse. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah. So uh Gary clarified just now the term that he says is more like uh, human not like human Ghost not like ghost mm. oh, That sounds deep That sounds deep yeah, creepy. I don't know what that means uh. I don't know either It's a, something in between uh. that, that is creepy Because you can't really tell Yeah, That's, that's pretty creepy Yeah, yeah. I, I see what kind of Scolding a person uh, No lah I think he, he's, he was mentioning Like how you <laughs> How you read the thing <laughs> Sounds like oh. Scolding oh. someone <laughs> <laughs> Yeah Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, mm-hmm. any other comments that I like? Because uh, if not, then we can complete the trifecta. So I'm, as, I'm assuming that since you did mention Kujo, Kujo, favourite horror novel of all time. Mm. Actually, this is very difficult to say. <laughs> because there are so many good ones that came out, right? I mean, yeah. in the old days, in the 80s, it's basically Stephen King and Stephen King. <laughs> Stephen King. Now, there's so many. It's really... Mm. I mean, I think my favourites are still going to be Stephen King novels like Kyujo mm. and The Shining and Salem's Lot because they still creep the hell out of you. Mm. But Junji Ito is way up there also, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Although it's not really a novel. Yeah, yeah. We, go, we go specific to novel. Junji Ito comics, okay. Yeah, like, true, like, true. It's a different medium there, true. Yeah, so uh, yeah, I guess it will have to be one of the Stephen King ones. Like, okay. Uh, which one, which one? Which one is really difficult? Which one? You can throw everybody off to say on writing. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> what? He's kind of sad yeah. that we all got the reference. <laughs> Hellblazer, no. <laughs> oh. Still off the pop there, yeah. Uh, I guess it's The Shining, actually. Mm. I think it's The Shining, yeah, because yeah. I read that one probably more than the rest. Yeah. And like, Carrie, but Carrie's not really. Like re-re- re-read, la, re-read, yeah. the whole thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. It's a very long book. It is a very long book. <laughs> <laughs> this is why, you know, reading it over and over again, actually, it's not a good idea. <laughs> in-depth. Very in-depth. Mm. You you say, how many you... times have you read Dune? Oh, God. <laughs> Don't ah. even ask. Ah. Well, it's really long. It takes a while to read How okay. many times have you read Dune? Yeah. Don't bluff. I can recite the litany against fear. <laughs> okay, like, we invite you back this when the movie comes out. This is how geeky I <laughs> am. Movie come out, you come back, then you just sit down there, stare at the camera, and then just recite. I the will thing. speak like a Fremen and drink <laughs> my own pee. <laughs> recycle, but then we're all doing it, right? Singaporeans are all Fremen now. We all drink our own recycle pee. Oh my god. Uh, How did I not make that connection you before? See, yeah. Somebody should make a meme. Mm, I'm yeah. sure Fremen. Then tap new tough. water. Also very hot. Yeah. <laughs> I, well, I, I feel like somebody has to have We eat a lot of spice. <laughs> Yeah, I think now. Mala. Like, I tell you, a bit too much, lunch, uh. nothing. Mal- mala is super addictive. Yeah. A bit too much uh, similarities. It's scary. Ma- How hot was your mala? I can see all of time now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm accessing my genetic memory. <laughs> I see. 
I want I want to ask what the Singaporean dish okay lah we're gonna stray a little bit off off uh, uh, horror topics lah but yeah. like what's the Singaporean equivalent of Benny Gesserit oh god I don't know man uh. Uh. auntie lo yeah lah that's us the gig the aso aso say you can taha or not <laughs> Oh, you put your hand here. <laughs> wait, 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 guys, guys, your hand put that. I put some mala. <laughs> by, by the way, they are making Dune references. Yeah, oh, yeah, no, Dune yeah. reference. Don't, don't worry. When 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 the movie comes out, y'all get it. Don't worry. Uh, yeah, it's good. so Jerry says. <laughs> you read it. <laughs> Jerry says no lah. Fremen have to deal with dry heat. <laughs> True, dry heat is better than ours. Okay. No, okay, that's fair. That's Imagine fair. how smelly our steel suits would be. Uh. Christ. <laughs> Uh. Yep. <laughs> Buso. Uh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Do you have any other comments you want to highlight? No. But please ask us any more questions uh, in regards to horror. If you have any horror stories, just okay. share. Yeah. Uh, okay. Now, this is going to be the most broad question to ask already. Hmm. Skip. So, no. No, 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 no. Well, I say nothing to skip, but the question is, what are you most afraid of? Well, climate any- change. It can what? It, it can be anything. <laughs> what? I say climate change. <laughs> you have taken my child. No, I'm sorry. My childhood is long gone. I'm sorry, Greta. <laughs> I, I laugh, but also yes, terrifying. <laughs> Actually, it's terrifying. It okay. is terrifying. Yeah, oh it is God. terrifying. <laughs> this this is the laughter. Oh no. <laughs> You should all be very scared. <laughs> we should be. We should be. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> I, I love how we might be leaving it on that very <laughs> uplifting note. Very. <laughs> we are all going to die. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, we won't end this episode on the horrifying note of climate change. <laughs> Instead, see, we told you, got one more chance to, to push the mm-hmm. stuff right. Please, tell us Okay, not when it's going to be released because you I don't know. need to know. <laughs> Roughly around mid-August. I should ask. Or maybe late August. Yeah, yeah. Jason, if for some reason you're tuning in, you can just like leave the he's, link. He's on. probably told me and I've just completely went... Uh. Yeah, yeah. But, 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 you can pre-order now. Yes, you can pre-order now from Books Actually or from Epigram. Support local. And and the name of the book? Is The Formidable Miss Cassidy. Ding. By Mayhan Boy. By Mayhan Boy. Also, yeah. like, go and look at all the other epigram guys. Also that, yes. Mm, yeah. yeah. But since she's on the show, we'll... Yeah, me first. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. first, first. Yeah. So we'll probably do a giveaway when it comes out, yeah? Yeah. 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 Wesley, don't worry. When uh, Wesley, Leon, or Ruzu, when you come on our show, we will push your book first. So don't worry. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 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 His book is sexier than mine. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of books... <laughs> what's, wait, what's your definition of a, a sexy, sexy book? I mean, yeah, okay, fair enough. Uh-huh. Okay, 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 yes. I get, I get the reference. Mm. Yes, yes, For fair some enough. weird reason, I fair got enough. the reference. Um, yeah, but speaking of books, the message is still out there. Russell Lee, if you ever want to come on our show, we'll protect your identity with our lives. Come on our show and tell some ghost stories. I mean, honestly, dude, I could show up down here in a mask. Nobody would know that you're yeah, Russell right. Lee, yeah. Your, your voice is quite distinctive. Uh. A lot of people say that you, you, you. Could, you could be the narrator, right, for all we you. know. Actually, that leads me to to pimp something else that both of us will be involved in. Mm. Um, I'm probably gonna get the date wrong. I think it's the 28th, right? Ghosted. You're asking totally the wrong person. Yeah. But if yes. I'm not wrong, it is the 28th. Yeah. It just Sounds it just right. occurred to me Sounds once. Right. Yeah. <laughs> On the 28th of August, uh, Mehan, myself, Audrey Chin, and Eng Yixing, um, mm-hmm. will be doing readings for Singlet Station. Yes. Uh long time listeners to Ghost Maps will know that Singlet Stations uh, help fund actually played a part in, in keeping Ghost Maps going mm-hmm. last year and everything so uh, we'll be doing readings for Singlet Station uh, on the 28th yeah. 28th, 28th. Right. Uh-huh. Yes. Yeah, I was right yes. 28th okay, cool. at 7 o'clock um, you can find the event at probably at Singlet Station's uh, Facebook page just yeah. go look um, what are you going to be you're going to be reading uh, yes, I will probably read a little bit out of uh, Formidable Miss Cassidy. I am currently reading... Every, I've already read his book. <laughs> so, you know, uh, I'm currently reading Audrey's book. So, yeah. Okay. Mm. And I'm slightly embarrassed to uh, meet Yisheng because he helped me correct mistakes in my manuscript. So. What, for Miss Cassidy? Yeah, because he's a his, history buff, right? And yes. he's like full-on Southeast Asian history, which is me. I'm kind of full-on occult history. <laughs> I, like, I, I never realised what a big... Uh, uh, horror nerd Yi Sheng was yeah, yeah yeah he is and and he has like all this like vast knowledge yeah. you know like like random things like I think yeah they're wearing the wrong shirt like oh shoot <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. Okay. So. Yes. But uh, both Mehan, myself, uh, Audition, and Eng Yixing will be doing readings for Sing the Station. The event's called Ghosted. Um, I can't remember the exact context of the the social media post, but they they called us Squad Ghouls. Yeah. Yeah. With a little ghost like that. I love that. I love mm. that so much. But yes, that'll be on the twenty eighth. So that's the other pimping thing. Um, and again, just before we go back, uh, one more time, you can pre-order our books actually. Epigram formidable Miss Cassidy. Mm-hmm. Our guest tonight is Miss Mehan Boy. Miss? Mm. Uh, whatever lah. I, 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 I my said pronouns are she, her. <laughs> there you yeah. go. All right. So, shall we do our world famous sign off? Or is there anybody else we want to highlight before we go? <laughs> Gary came back and says that <laughs> this is just lost in communication. <laughs> <laughs> it's just how he was actually referring to a Hainanese phrase being used to score a person in his actual usage. Sorry, man, I'm not Hainanese. <laughs> I'm, you know what? I'm just going to leave it at that because then that, that's just the weirdest point to leave it on. Yep, the weirdest yep. point to leave it on. All right. So we'll do, we'll do our world famous um, uh, call to action now. Um, <clears throat> wait, hang on. Must, must dream a little bit first. It's a long yep. call to action. He, he always okay. do it. You can keep doing the ooh yeah, while doing it as well. Sorry. New episodes of Ghost Maps go online every second and fourth Thursday of the month on Spotify, YouTube, and Apple Podcasts and all major platforms. Right now, however, uh, see we changed this time. Right now, however, in honor of the Hungry Ghost Month, we've got new episodes every week. To make sure you never miss an episode, subscribe now and follow us on social media at We Are Hantu. That's one word. W e a r e h a n t u. Why am I spelling it out? It's actually on. It's actually on the. No, no, it's for the audio. Oh, okay, fair enough for the audio. Yeah, okay. Because mm. in the the video, you can actually see the thing down there. I just realized that now. I yep. don't know why. Uh, we've been doing this for f- four months now. Um, if you would like to share your own stories that could inspire future episodes of Ghost Maps, you can reach us through the contact form on hantu.sg or message us directly through Facebook and Instagram. You can also buy our official merchandise like t-shirts, tote bags, and masks on Redbubble or be one of our supporters on Patreon. Search for We Are Hantu. Again, that's one word. W-E-A-R-E-H-A-N-T-U. Do you want to do the... Wait, hang on, let me see what I can... Yeah, I'm point. I'm clearly Am pointing in the right direction. Let's yeah. all point in separate yeah, directions. Like, all, one of us will get it right. No, just point towards the edge of the table. Yeah, and you can see. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. All right. Cool. I was pointing <laughs> to the wrong edge of the table. I think. Yeah. All right. So now for our sign off, Carl, we read this together because yeah, we're such an adorable couple. Yeah, we are. Um, ready? Yep. And remember, remember just because they're stories, stories, it doesn't, doesn't mean they're, they're not true. true. Mm-hmm. Good night, everybody. Ooh. Good night, everyone. Thank <laughs> you, Mehan. Thank Happy you, everybody. Happy Friday the 13th. Happy Hungry Ghost Month. See you.